Uh, you're you're going to get, get a notification, notification right, right now. now. All right. Let me see. Okay. Ready? Oh, and I can share it. Yeah. So, I just post it. Nothing. This week on Humcast, we have George Wang in the house. I'm here with Mr. Ryan D. We're talking about Wang's world and fun shit and a shit ton of trailers. You're listening to Humcast. Get it already. Welcome to Humcast, everybody. The show where a couple of buds get buzzed. And we uh, go ahead and play Bang 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 with Mr. George Wang Wang Wang. <laughs> Yo. So. Oh, wait. I'm a button that does that. Cool. My name's Garrett Lee. I'm Ryan D. And I'm George Wang Jr. <laughs> George Wang yeah. Jr. Jr., yes. Did you get to share, dude? I did. I just shared it. Okay, and uh, cool. before we go on live, I mean, we are live, but before we start, I, I want to say, thank Garrett. Uh, so the last time I came on, uh, Garrett was asked to be on a uh, YouTube series called Black Girls Kissing Asians. And he was su- supposed to be the guy like making out with black girls. And he kicked it down to me. And at the time, I actually was in a relationship. Yeah. So I said no. But then we broke up. And so I, I called them back. <laughs> and like, that video. Hold up, hold up. You still have any black girls. <laughs> and since then, that video has gone on to 2 million hits. Nice. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's at shit, like really? three or four right now. Yeah. Yeah. And then I did another one with them. So it was like a uh, Asian girl. No, uh, Asian guys kiss blonde girls. Uh, oh, you did that one? I did that one, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so you were going to go for the sequel, and you bailed out on the sequel. <laughs> you just bailed out on Black Girls. No, I, I well, just, someone I, else was in a relationship at that time, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I gave that one to you. But yeah. I'm, glad you I'm glad you had a good time. And I, it, I did. It I did have a good time. It was, it was success. It did. Uh, it, it's kind of funny how we're always put into these like in brackets of like Asians kiss Mexicans, Asians yeah. kiss black. It's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. like, we have such our own category. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, we live out here in, in Southern California, where I guess it's still kind of weird in other parts of the world. Because I, I, I did get, I get a lot of com comments and messages and all that stuff from people around the world. Like, literally, there was an Asian dude in. Asia somewhere because uh, it was broken English. I didn't really know exactly what was going on. He's like, "Teach me your ways." Well, okay, so let me. Wait, he's what? asking you to teach him so, kung fu. So, guys, <laughs> for everyone listening, and you probably don't know this, in China, and I found this out because I started working with people from China, uh-huh. and how they found out about me is I won a dating show that was on on, yeah, that's what the, on the, national the, television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, so the reason this thing was so big in China. Was that the ultimate status, like the ultimate, like you're a boss, is if you could Get basically bag a, a, a blonde girl. Uh huh. Uh-huh. If you're Asian with a white girl, because <laughs> it's their way of saying fuck you to the Westerners. Yeah. So they think that by fucking a, a white woman or being with one, you're like you've reached the highest status a Chinese right. man could get. Right. And there's actually a Chinese <laughs> saying and everything for it. Really? What is it? I don't know how to say it. Oh. But I know that um, when when that show went viral or whatever in China, like I would go to like Rouse, no one would know about it. But if I went to fucking like John's Dumpling House, <laughs> they were all like, "Hey man, I know you, dude. Are you <laughs> you grow your hair out." And I was like, "Yeah, hey," and then like they get all horny and yeah. like, yeah, because it's a big deal, dude. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, yeah. so you don't speak Chinese? I don't. Oh, okay. I, uh, I, it's very broken. I understand it. Yeah. So you're like, you're like me with Spanish. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm like Garrett new, new with, with fucking everything. both. Yeah. Both right, sides, right. Both of, sides right. of it. Yeah. You know Are what's you... funny is like somebody sent me a meme in Spanish and I uh, it, I still laughed at it. Like I could still read it. And I understand what it says. Yeah, right. you know? I mean, our, like the, our capability of understanding is a lot more, especially when it comes to memes like that. Because yeah. you could definitely see. I think there was one hilarious where when Cybertruck was like a big, big thing, uh-huh. there was a Cybertruck meme with like a bunch of like, uh, like paisas in the back and then it said something. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I understood every other <laughs> yeah, word yeah, yeah. and I got what it was. Yeah. And then I translate. I'm like, that's so what, what I thought it was. What's your other half? Korean? I'm, I, no, I'm Chinese and Mexican. 
Oh, so you're a Chincano, basically. Uh, Chincano. We call it, we call it Chex That's again. A good one. You're a Chex again. Oh, yeah. I like that one, Chincano. Well, I always there's a joke on stage. I go, my girlfriend is Asian, uh, Hispanic, and I'm Chinese. Mm-hmm. So if we have a girl, it'd be a La China. <laughs> La Chinka. A La Chinka. Yeah. And I go on to this whole spiel, but it's like, uh, so do you not know Chinese or Mexican? I know how to order dim sum in Chinese. That's and great. That's great. And uh, I can speak more Spanish than anything besides English. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I can definitely understand a lot more. I've always, like, I took Spanish in high school. Um, I work predominantly with Spanish speakers, uh, bilingual Spanish speakers, of course. And, uh, and so it's just something I'm around more. So I so practice. So you, you basically work more. at a restaurant. Yeah, I work at a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I've, I've, I've been working at, at restaurants uh, since I was, like, 16, off and on different places. But I've kind of kept up with my Spanish, you know. It's so not important. conversational, but if you need help or if you're trying to say something or if you're trying to talk shit, I can understand you. Yeah. Well, to be honest, if you want to get down with business, it's like those two languages yeah. are key. Yeah. yeah. If I, Spanish and Mandarin. The, yeah. Yeah. China for the factories, mm-hmm. Mandarin for the factory shit, and yeah. then the and then the Spanish to hire the fucking illegal workers <laughs> to exactly. save the money on the factories. Boom. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And, and yeah. even though even though my my uh my Asian side they're they're Cantonese. Uh, Mandarin would be uh, better for me to learn just for business. Okay, so now how did that, like, okay, this is weird. I feel like I'm the guy interviewing and shit now. But That's fine. We're kind of so, just having a, <laughs> the whole show is a conversation. We just get drunk and we talk about shit. Okay, so the Mexican side is your mom? Yes. And the Chinese side is your dad? See now, did they meet in Monterey Park? Uh, they met in school El, in a choir, in, in uh, I believe college uh, in choir. <laughs> Were they class. both like Americanized, or are they kind of immigrant? Oh uh, no, they're both Americanized. Okay, so uh, the way my mom my mom tells me different parts of different stories, I'm sure she'll jump on at some point and tell me otherwise. But she, so you're me and Ryan basically. <laughs> like, no, because Ryan's white. I'm half white, so okay, yeah. Yeah, and but, I, but, said, but also my Mexican side is very Americanized, very very whitewashed. I mean, we like we're we're like f- I'm like the fifth generation. So yeah, so. my mom's mom was born in Texas, and like she did she didn't really speak much Spanish really. Okay. And it should, like no one's ta- taught us Spanish, even though like they speak Spanish, they didn't fucking teach us. They just said learn, and so I'm like, well, you don't speak it, so I can't learn it. Yeah, like they don't speak it to us. They only spoke it to their elders and people that needed to communicate in Spanish, but never in the household. And so I'm like, it's impossible for me to do that because it's just, you're telling people to go away right. in Spanish, essentially, or whatever. And then uh, my dad never, almost never spoke Chinese. Uh, his parents, too. I, I was like, teach me Chinese. And they're like, you should learn Spanish. Well, the thing with, the thing with his dad was like, is like a lot of us thought his dad was Mexican growing up. Because like he had this like... My mom he, thought he, he was... was like, <laughs> he had this <laughs> fucking, like, fucking Sancho stash. And yeah. I just thought maybe he had like, Asian looking Because he's one of those, eyes, like, you know? those Hispanic washed Asian guys. He, yeah. grew, he grew up in El Sereno. Yeah. Whereas so my he... mom grew up here in Monterey Park, which is okay. funny. So yeah. they were like reverse. Like exactly. he's yeah, making yeah. tamales and she's making dim sum. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my mom made dim sum. I don't think she's ever made dim sum. I don't sum. think any mom I've ever met knew how to make dim sum. Bro, off the top. I looked up how to make dim sum because I like to cook. That shit is it's, a process. It's a process, bro. Like really? days. Especially like really good soups too. Yeah. Fucking days. Like you want to make broth for the oh, dumplings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days. Yeah. Days. Yeah. It's way. And you know what's. Did you know when you go to the dim sum places, you know why they're so aggressive? Like they get commissioned. <laughs> Those oh, ladies really? that push the carts and like they're pushing the sense. pork they're shit like, on you. They're like, here, you want this. They're like, I, like, what is it? You want it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You want it. So they, if you guys never had dim sum, it's like this appetizer thing. It's it's like they push it around. It's on, Chinese brunch soul food, essentially. Yeah. So it's it's like really delicious, not very macro friendly stuff. It's you know what it's it's like Chinese tapas dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but but not meant to be for like going out and drinking and having dinner. This is the stuff no. that you this is the stuff that you crave when you're hungover. The yeah, perfect yeah. hangover Sunday, food. So it's like it's like both Sunday sole. around yeah. like ten a.m. That's the best time to go. That's yeah. when it's the most packed. But yeah. it's always with family. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bigger the table, oh, the shit. better. We forgot to uh, we forgot to talk oh, yeah. about what we're drinking here. Well, we start off every show with an alcoholic beverage. That's of some true, sort. Ryan. That yeah. is very true. <laughs> today's no different. And today's no different. Yeah. Uh, I went ahead and went around the corner and got us uh, a Belgian Beaver 
uh, Deftones, Phantom Bride. Shout out uh, to Chino. IPA. Damn. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. For, for Chino those, Moreno. For those of you keeping score at home, this is Ryan's second time bringing beer on the show. Hey, uh, shut ever. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's an IPA. It's pretty delicious. I dig it. The yeah. India, yeah. This was like a, this was one of, the, one of the pivotal like hazies that everyone kind of jumped yes, on that trend. This one, I remember having uh, one, I believe it first came out like uh, maybe two, three, maybe four maybe years ago. Maybe three years ago, yeah. Because I was working at a beer place, like a spot that was known for uh, like having a bunch of taps and I tried it for the first time on tap and it was delicious. Yeah, it's this really is good. still really good, I think. Belgian, but since then, I've had so many different... Um, Belgian beavers. Actually, my favorite out of Belgian beavers is their peanut butter stout. Dude, yeah. That's, like that the, that's, that's, that's their fucking claim never, to fame. Okay, so Belgian, Belgian beavers is actually San Diego based, but have you been to the actual brewery? I haven't Diego? been there yet, so no. It's, it's in North Park. and the you, Park! And you can... You can uh, actually get uh, like a float with the with the peanut butter stout. They'll give you they'll put ice cream in it oh and like God. peanut butter that peanut butter cups so and, and, and chocolate and peanut butter syrup. Damn, and dude, it's the shit. It sounds like yeah. I need to go down there. It's fucking, so good. Do they do comedy nights, dude? <laughs> Not yet. I'll, really? I'll get. I was on gonna it. say uh, from what <laughs> I should do a brewery tour, bro. We should, dude, like we a totally comedy should. brewery I know, tour. Absolutely. Yeah, from yeah. what I've learned, you can just go to any spot and be like, "Hey, we want to throw a comedy night." And they'll be like, "All right, that's fine." Pretty yeah. much. So I recently did. it. I just got back from Palm Springs and uh-huh. I did Coachella Valley Brewing. Nice. And it was so like I was so gorilla that they they made the stage out of a pallet. Yeah. Nice. So my opener was like, "What are you guys gonna ship me to China? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> a pallet? Like, They're like if if, you, if they don't laugh, we're gonna just close it up. It's like a cage." It yeah. was really like it's crazy because when you do comedy there, it was there was a lot of times they don't set it up for comedy, so it's very like uh, yeah, like just DIY. Yeah. yeah. No, fact, absolutely. It's it's it's. I think I saw one. It looked like you were at a Home Depot or something. Was that that? That was probably that. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. It was like yeah. There was like aisles behind. Yeah. Me. Just the the orange and and metallic like fucking racks. Yeah. And but shit. I I love that shit because then you're like this That's, is a brewery. We should start is... doing comedy at Home Depot though. We why not, dude? <laughs> there and would we, be an audience. We could pay those. You know what I thought would be a good joke on like the Home Depot guys. You know how like every time you roll up they want work. Yeah. So my joke would be like you roll up in a van and then you, you guys want work and then in the minute you open the van you just start handing them guns and fucking uh <laughs> and like um and, and like what and are those masks? Uh, yeah ski masks mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and see like just see if they would be down yeah like you want to work some eagles and you just uh, give them fucking like, fake I brought guns. my own dude that just reminds me of this, this I've been telling this story on stage about how my grandpa my gra- dude, my grandpa's kind of he's pretty gangster so like he fucking I, I he told me this story after we were, we had the family over and we were all taking tequila shots in the backyard and shit and then this it came, I'd heard it about it before but like he never told me the story like I heard it from like my mom or something but apparently he went to the unemployment office in the 70s <laughs> and some dude just showed up in like a white panel van and he was like you 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 beaners <laughs> like get in the van you want work <laughs> and he was like how much and they were like he's like 200 bucks a day and he's like all right <laughs> and oh he my. got in a van and they were uh and he was gone and they kept him for fucking 3 days and he was gone. What well, was it that they, they? He was like, "I just need you guys to help me move furniture." And they just blazed him out for three days and made him move furniture. It turns out they were stealing furniture from these warehouses. Jesus! <laughs> but you know, you could literally trick these guys yeah. into doing some shady shit right. if you're smart enough. Of course. <laughs> Like they, they just wouldn't want know, money. they just yeah. want money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, do a thing, no questions asked. Yeah, and so he shows up three days later. My grandma's all pissed at him. She's like, filed a, <laughs> filed a repeat police report and all this shit. And all he does is like pull out a wad of cash and just throw it at her. And he's like, I'm tired. <laughs> oh my god! I just saw Chris Cornell joined. I was like, from the grave. Wow. Chris Cornell. Chris Carn- oh yeah, that's my mom's friend. Nice. I'm sure he's heard that his whole hey, life. Hey, yeah. <laughs> How we doing, mom's friend? Um, but anyway. Uh, Oh, that's what okay. we haven't actually introduced you. George Wang, guys, is a you've been on he's a fellow he's comic been on before. If you've, if you've listened before, he was on before, which was a one of a very favorite episode. A lot of people really? gave oh, us a lot thank of feedback. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which uh, is cool. Is he's a new neighbor. I actually yeah. live very close. We live in Monterey Park. If you guys know where Monterey Park is, just keep driving until you get into a fender bender. <laughs> yeah. And you'll know you're here. Keep your eyes it's open. True. Good and, luck, everybody and, else. And watch out for people not watching out for you. It's, but did you know this got rated in Forbes magazine as the eighth best city to live I, I in, in the in the in the world? I had third. I heard we got third. And we have a banner. Yeah, they're so horny. They put a banner like Forbes best city. Really? Yeah. It's like no, the seriously. city you never heard of. But if you want to go for like socioeconomic things and 
like and it's rent. safe. It's cheap. It, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's safe. It's Especially safe. where I live, like there's there's certain parts where it's a less safe but still good. Like we're right next to East LA, East, but yeah, I, I, that's I, why well, across the street from the police department and, and city hall and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. Not, I'm good. But yeah. I feel like there's always shit happening. Like every week there's a fucking house raid it's but like those that are the, but those are the people coming from east la whittier boulevard where well, i was living i feel like there's a lot of um there's a <laughs> lot like, of we need like, to rob the asians yeah. there's low-key trap houses yeah. or like drug houses Probably. all over because even though it's low like nice on the outside there's a lot of asian gangsters doing business like yeah. out of houses and yeah. that look like this yeah so every now and then you'll see stakeout swat team fucking yeah. helicopters huh. yeah well uh, George and I had a little skate session earlier today. Yeah, that was uh, dope. Uh, right before we came yeah, over I, here. I love how you hijacked the Humcast uh, Instagram just to be like, hey guys, I skate still. I, I <laughs> accidentally posted that and then I just, because I posted it thinking it was under mine. Oh, and okay. then so I just decided like, oh, fuck it. I'll just leave it. And yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll like, just I'm getting edit. notifications on my, on my phone. I'm like, why? Okay. Well, cause no, and plus we hadn't posted anything on the Yeah, I was, I was like, it was just weird. And then I forgot you were on Rat Talks so and then I put your thing like, oh, make sure you tune in. So he was on my brother's Also, I skate. <laughs> he told me you were the filmer growing up. Like, you guys were in the crew, and you were, like, the yeah, filmer. Yeah, like, like, I don't really skate. I have, I have <laughs> boards. have the homie, oh, that one see. filmer homie. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, I had the skateboard, and I did some trick, uh, but <laughs> definitely couldn't do, like, kickflips and shit like that. Get, he, he would surprise me on this little quarter pipe I had that I would bring out to, because we lived in the suburbs very he much like this. He stalls and shit. So he'd, he'd come out with some random shit sometimes, <laughs> and I'm just like, how the fuck? He's like, I don't even know where well, that came Well, how long has this friendship I, gone I just on. spun around until I landed back on the board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did, like, a Luigi well, fucking uh, jump, and jump oh, spin. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I've been doing since I was 11, so 2001. Like, like 10, 11, yeah. I love that. You know, it, and I can see the fucking the history, like, just coming in here and seeing this, like, uh, synergy between you two. Yeah. You could tell, like, You've I've known him since the very first time I was phase. on a motorcycle by myself and I crashed on his lawn. He crashed into my dad's truck. That's so that's... you have, what, like 20 years of friendship under your belt? Was it, was it 2000? Uh, almost. Oh, 2001 is almost, when, I, when yeah. I met him. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So Getting to see there. him skateboard again, is yeah. that a trip? Like, cause... No, he's never really stopped. Uh, he's just like, every, every few months he's like, all right, I'm going to get back on it. And like I've never seen him really get like... Like like he couldn't land a kickflip type of thing. Like he, yeah. he's. I mean, remember yeah, back in the day, he was all about well like three sixty wow. flips. Yeah, These things are like these three sixty flips. He loved those back in the day. I think. Can you still do them now? I can. I just. I takes I, a little I, more practice. It's right? gonna take. It's gonna take. I, I'll get them back. Why don't you soon. bring yeah. back the beanie visor? The top. The beanie visor. I, the dude, you know what? Who, sure no one wears one. that. The only guy who wears is Daniel Eiches. The guy. <laughs> He's the only yeah, guy who wears He's a comic. Beanie, he's a, but that, he visors. literally owned, that's all. He, that's like his <laughs> fucking thing. Like that's all he wears. Like, that who, sounds like an early two thousands headwear. Right. That, and, yeah. And, and that's all he wears. Does anyone wear a beanie visor anymore? That was so popular. Shout out was. In the comments. I um, would if I could fucking find any of them. I, I used to have this really dope Volcom one that was my favorite one. It was like knitted. Yeah. And it, and it had like the little. And it had a bill in the yeah, beanie. And I, I think it. I had one uh, a long time ago, but it got really stretched out. I don't know if I still have it or not. But it was like green knit, like beanie yeah. visor. You don't seem like you wear a lot of hats anymore. I don't. You're actually, more of a hair yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm. I he's try to. Bad, he's I have got a, a better hair. really big head, and then like my ears do this like elf thing when I put hats on. <laughs> yeah. Like they're just pointy, and they're and a lot you don't more. Like how that looks? No. Yeah. So I'm, I'm. I mean, I've seen a, a few hats where I'm okay with them. Yeah, but I'm not. But you normally. have a better. You have a better jawline. So like, you, you have like, that face. Like you know when you look at the old photos at that like 1950s, like when your grandfather <laughs> yeah. was all like you know super well, dapper. Yeah, I think I have a picture of my. My grandfather, like, there's a one picture that I really love of him. He looks suave as fuck. It's, like, black and white, too. He just, like, has a fucking tux on. He has his, like, hand right here, and his, like, hair was, like, full slick back, and he just looked like a fucking boss. And yeah. I was like, yeah, that's kind of... You know the, the look that I go for without being, like, full-on Mexicano gangster. You yeah. know what's sad is, okay, so I go to this dive bar, and then I... Uh, Where? Which one? Hold on. I go to Owls. I used to go to this place called Owls. It's Owls. just like, you know, everyone has a dive bar in the city. It's a fucking hole in the wall. It's a piece yeah. of shit. You go there because you get Jack and Cokes for like four for bucks. For five dollars, yeah. Like I, the silver I, dollar, right? I, I yeah. wish the silver dollar, like ever since I started drinking at the silver dollar, I'm like, why the fuck isn't this so, a, a cocktail place? Okay, so here's, I've, been, I've been going to the Rendezvous, which is in West Cove. You it's know. another fucking shithole, yeah, right? It's, it's, but but it's, we what's love it. fucking hilarious is like if you ask them to see, like, because you a lot of those places opened up like like long time ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Al's opened up in the 60s. Dude, the, the silver dollar is like 
like almost a landmark in Elmira. So Mania. how long has it been around? It's been around since like the 50s. Okay, so when you look at the fucking photos in the 50s, the people look like it's straight out of like unforgettable. <laughs> like they look so good. Like yeah. that dapper guy. Yeah. And I'm looking around these pieces of shit with like flamingo <laughs> fucking cut off bunch and like flip flops. I'm like, what the hell happened to like good class? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like you, you can't even imagine that like some guy came into that bar in a fucking suit with a top hat asking for like a Shirley <laughs> Temple right. and they would like, you know, do some swing dance and get right. the fuck out of there. Yeah. You know, I totally. Yeah. I like, like glamour has gone to shit. But dude. it's so no. funny because sometimes yeah. sometimes like the, you, you notice that some of those decorations have probably been there since 1950 <laughs> yeah. since they opened. Like there was, the- a pic- there was a picture of JFK at this bar I went to yesterday <laughs> and I was like, why the fuck is there a portrait Parking for Italians <laughs> only. <laughs> and shit dude you're like what is this memorabilia like right. when the memorabilia is racist yeah. it's like pretty old it's school a, yeah. <laughs> yeah it says Polak beard yeah. it's, it's, or whatever you know they always make I don't know why white no beard. negroes a bunch allowed of, <laughs> a bunch of there was like a bunch of <laughs> Polish jokes for some reason have you, ever, have you noticed this yeah, there's a lot of like random. So somebody had to explain this to me because I didn't really understand why there were so many Polak jokes. Like why? Like there, there's there's so many... a lot of Polak people in that day, I guess. Well, but... the thing was, the joke was a lot of them fled during World War II mm-hmm. because uh, because of the because of Nazi Germany, but also Poland was the first one to get invaded, and they were just like, oh, like I guess they had a chance to stop it, and they yeah. just like kind of let them fucking do it. And so, you so motherfuckers, that, let's so that. Happen. So when they came to America, that's why they made fun of them. Like, oh, you guys are fucking stupid for letting that happen to your country. Oh, like, shit. so, th- so that's that was the joke. Like, Pollocks are fucking dumb. So, like, so my my grandpa has this 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 thing in the garage. This is why I asked about it because because <laughs> he has this thing in the garage. And it's hanging from the ceiling, and it's like, and it has a tag on it, and it says Pollock chainsaw, and it's a handsaw handle with a chain on it. Jesus, like that, just Jesus. just a chain hanging from it, right? Like, and it says Pollock chainsaw. Like, I'm a fucking dummy. I don't know what a chainsaw is. You know? Like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. Is, is that yeah? I guess like Pollock jokes would be equivalent to like blonde jokes, like, right? It's exactly the same, yeah. But I don't know too many Polish people. Me have, either. But I guess it was a thing back. It was then, a yeah. thing, right? Yeah. It must and have been a trip for the Asians to come into Monterey Park because it's all Chinese here. I know. So you know what? Okay, maybe you guys, maybe maybe you know some history on this. Also, there were also there were no. farmers too with no education. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they were farmers. Okay, all right. all right. Um, so I have this theory that the reason why there's so many like there was there, like a lot of these neighborhoods are like predominantly Asian, like you know Temple City, uh, Arcadia, Monterey Park was because was because of all the uh, all the roundups they were doing during World War Two. The concentration concentration camp. camps, yeah. yeah. The, I mean, the uh, oh, that is that does make sense. That's what I was thinking because, like, Santa Anita was a huge one. Isn't that crazy? Like, I work, I have a business in the mall next to an area where they held all the Japanese. Yeah. During the fit- yeah. How fucking crazy would that be? One day, like, let's say <laughs> some shit went down with China and Trump. Mm-hmm. And he just decided, like, let's lock up all the Chinese people. <laughs> I don't think like, that would ever just happen. Just to be but, in yeah. a big fucking dome. Oh, yeah. Not, not <laughs> at this <laughs> point in time, yeah. no. Where he, he's, he's fucking. You think he's going to get impeached? Out. He's done, right? Dude, I, I mean, there, there's we, we something that's going to happen. We try and steer from we, politics. We also, but... we also stay away from politics. I, I did see well, something that I thought impeach, was really weird, the though. The impeach shit is like, is he going to or is he not? I, like, think, he... I think they're trying to get it done in time so he can't run a second term. So he probably will. He will be, but after he runs his whole term. That's so nuts. Yeah, so he can't actually run again. That's so what I think is going to happen. I mean, are you in a pot? Do you even care about who the uh, next president is? I, 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 Yang Gang or what? I, I do. <laughs> I, I, I've, that guy's fucking awesome. But uh, I don't know. I've been. Uh, I, I, right now, I'm like, I got to start paying attention. Like, because I won't until it's like. Because the Asians are on Yang oh, Gang. I know, dick. man. Hard. They are. I know. Even like, I work with guys. They're rallying that, like, hard. I have like guys that are like, are really fobby around uh, me. Yeah, and yeah. you would think they wouldn't even know about politics. I'll be. But they fucking are on tops of Yang Gang's yeah. fucking, they know all his political agendas. And I'm like, God damn. And then I feel like the stupid Asian that like, I should be like on Yang Gang shit too. Like that would yeah. be our Obama. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. <laughs> I just, I don't care. I've never cared about politics. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. I, I like to watch, I like to just to, just to make my vote like, I want to feel like it matters. Like, at so least. who did you so vote like, for? With I mean, fuck with Clinton the, or the Trump? Less, the lesser of two evils. What did, do you think? Did you vote for Clinton? I, yeah. Really? Yes. I did. I did vote for Clinton. Too. Yeah. 
I mean, because I was like, okay, well, all these other fill-ins, they're not going to win, like, no matter what, you know? Like, as much as we want to think that, like, those independent fucking guys that were that were also running, like, it just wasn't going to happen. Because it was between those two, right? Like, I don't know. Fuck. It, was, it was weird. It was very weird. It was very weird, and it was very fucked the way, the way it ended up being those two choices. Like, I'm like, fuck, do I... What was your reaction when Trump got... Like, did you care? Were you like, whoa? I cared. I couldn't vote because I was I'm a felon. <laughs> but, are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Long story. Th- this is literally what right, I took a picture. What are you felon for? Uh, ground, th- ground theft. You're a drug dealer. He sold mollies. Did you ever hear about that car accident I got into? No. He was driving. Oh, uh, so he's a felon. He's, yeah, he's so a felony DUI. Th- this was me while while at the votes were being tallied. Oh, you were drinking but, juice. Uh, but I was in the airport in Seattle, and I said, seriously contemplating going through so the northern border to Canada. You can't vote if you're a felon? No, you can't. Dude, also, I just they might watched, not even let me go into Canada. I just watched a movie about a guy who is a business dude, and he becomes a felon. They still throw him in jail for DUI, and he comes out like a cholo, like, <laughs> and he like kills like the white Aryan supremacist Holy leader. Shit. It's like it's with Aaron Eckhart. It's it's on Netflix. Uh, oh, okay. But I was like, what with the DUI? Like, I, me and my girlfriend this argument. Like, if a guy went into the hardcore jail with a DUI felony, could he just become a fucking like? I don't know, Garrett. Like the worst. I don't know. Did you do time? Did you do serious time? He did serious eight time. You did eight months. Yeah. Did you join like the Asians or the whites or the? Did you have like? Did you have to pick a side? I, feel like I really don't want to say this part on the air. <laughs> yeah. Like I've actually been pretty open about it, but I don't know. There's certain things I just really don't feel like. You just don't want to go back there, huh? No, I definitely have a lot of P- PTSD and shit like that. Like there's yeah. times I'll catch myself zoning out and thinking about times where I had, was there. Uh, and it's like super weird where like random things trigger it too. Yeah. Okay. It's just like, that makes like just a phrase reminds me of a certain phrase someone else said. And then I just zone back in for like five minutes and <laughs> yeah. then I'm like, Fucking. I don't know. Cause yeah. this movie made it so crazy. Like it was like the, fun. the first day he got raped. I was like, really? Didn't like, get raped. I'll say that. Okay. I didn't go to County. I have been to jail more times than I can count on my hands, but like I went for once, like, but for a very long time. Yeah. I yeah. went different times for dumb shit but yeah. not long like a week here a week there yeah but, uh like they the way that they have it set up in jail specifically is like there's zero uh homosexual acts uh, at all unless you're in a very specific Zach. shout out to zach zach's unless, on here oh yeah unless you're in like a specific if you claim that you're like homosexual then they'll put you in a very separate um very separate part of the jail so did you say you were gay just to get I the fuck didn't. away damn Although I was like, if I did, I don't know if I'd be more free or more scared because people <laughs> right. really want to have sex with me. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 did you like try to shank the biggest dude you first saw? Like, hit him with a bar of soap in a bag? No. <laughs> no. In, a, in a tube sock. Uh, all right. Let's not bring that yeah, back for Garrett. He's getting uncomfortable. He's getting uncomfortable. I don't like this bit. now. Let's do shots. Uh. <laughs> let's do, yeah. Let's do something. Can we do another one of these? Yeah. Go, I, 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 I put them in the fridge, bro. Here, go, I'll go, grab them. Do you, do you yeah. want to do a shot with us too? I would love to do a shot, dude. What do you? What's your spirit of choice for I, shots? Um, I'm a whiskey guy, but I'll go with whatever you're fucking running. Tequila. You're, you're the bartender, dude. So why don't whiskey you? Or tequila? I'll do whiskey or tequila. I'll do, oh, yeah, tequila. Let's do tequila. We'll do tequila. Okay, cool. Tequila. All right. So shout so, out to my boy Zach Elk. I love my dude Zach. Zach. He's on here. Zach's a good dude. Yeah, dude. He was. Uh, he came out to support the show the other day. Uh, my, the... my Route 66 show. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And he refused to do a set. <laughs> I was like, hey, I'll give you some time. He's like. Yeah, I don't feel like it tonight. It, it's okay. See, Zach's cool when he'll show up and not do a set, but there's yeah. some guys who show up Expecting and they don't do a, do a set. set. Well, shout out, and fucking... it's creepy because it feels like they're watching your yeah. shit. Shout out, uh, Carlos Escobar too. He 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 showed up to do the same thing, and I gave him time. I was like, hey, you know, fuck it, like, cause if they're not expecting it, and for the most part, like, I don't want to put this out completely, but for the most part, if you're a, if you're a homie, you kind of you come through and support the show. Like, I'm, I'll probably give you time. You know, like. Right, just, but just stick around. Watch the rest of the show. Don't be a dick. You like, don't do just your show time up and, and then leave. leave. You know, yeah. Mama Lee, I'm sorry. I do not mean to make you uncomfortable. Um, I, I, I just it was a trigger because I watched a movie. Watch it on Netflix. Oh, <laughs> with the Aaron Hackart. <laughs> oh, there's his mom. It, it, yeah. it was like a weird movie because it was like so extreme in terms of like th- that subject matter sure, sure. that I was just like, is is that? Yeah, you know. Yeah. On a lighter note, let's talk about this. Okay, so you you've been skateboarding how long? What? How, when did you start skating? Uh, okay, so I started skating when I was about uh, twelve years old. I'm thirty seven now. Okay. 
And uh, just like you, Fuck. I was always on and off, on and off. Yeah. Um, so I finally decided uh, later in my later years in life that um, it's just something that I wanted to do for sure. Like, I didn't want to, like, and I didn't care about, like, trying to be a pro or trying to get. I just wanted to skate. Yeah. Like, I figure if you can go run a, run on a treadmill or take Zumba. Yeah. Like, why can't I go out and, and skateboard? And skateboard, yeah. So now that I've done it, um, I've actually started. Uh, I started working with LAUSD last year, yeah. and they I got hired as a skateboarding instructor to run an after school program. That's awesome. That's Ryan's dream from two thousand and like ten. I was trying to do something like that. I was I was doing something with uh, with Parks and Recreation for a little bit. Similar. Yeah. 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 So what was weird was when I went into the school, you would think that you know. All right, wait, let's take this shot. Yeah, let's take this shot. Then we'll we'll dive into the story. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. guys. Thanks, dude, for coming on. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. Uh, Okay. Okay. Yummy. Okay. So long story short, I um, I land this... This dream job, which is basically uh, I'm I'm running a straight class. Like, I'm a Mr. Wang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does that sound weird to you? It's very weird. When Mr. Wang like, sounds Mr. like a math teacher. Can I have. we play <laughs> Mr. Sure it Wang? It just doesn't sound right. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, are we going to play? I, I don't think I'd ever want to be called Mr. Lee. I don't like it. Hmm. I really don't. Mr. Do, would, Wang. Do you like, would you want to Hold be called on. Mr. Let Dim- me tell you my Let me tell you my story about being called Mr. Mr. is one thing, because like it's when you just say call someone Mr. or, or Miss, it just sounds like a little kid just like trying to be polite. But that's that's pretty much what it was. I, I was at the skate park. Okay. I, it was one of those times like Garrett always, you know, throughout the years, I've always been like, fuck it, I'm going to go out and skate. I think I, you had come with me a couple times that week yeah. to go to like the Monrovia skate park. And then, dude, this, so this time I go up, I go by myself and I'm just like, I'm just going to do the old guy thing, just kind of ride the bull, maybe do a few yeah. grindy grinds and some actual stalls or whatever. Mm. And I go up and I, I, I try and I try and you know hit the coping to like grind on the side there, but I overshoot and I land on the deck, and so my so my wheels just shoot out from under me and I fall straight forward. I hit my shins on the coping and Ooh. fall right into the bowl. And, and they're like, "Are you okay, and, Mister?" And this fucking kid like rolls up That's to the edge of it, you, and I'm like lying at the bottom of the bowl. And you're like, a Mister when you fall like that and he looks like because a you're a fucking old man. And he goes, "Hey, Mister, are you yeah. okay?" Yeah, that, that was. <laughs> you're like, ah, so you want, hip? you want to hear my something hip? fucking weird? Okay, at of course that school, I these kids were like, "Oh, you do." They found out about comedy and all this shit that I oh, had shit. done. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, "Hey, can we like Google your name and YouTube?" Miss Wang is blocked. The ah, word Wang, the word Wang. Oh, is an offensive term. Yeah, it is. So I'm it like, wiener. I'm like, yeah. who's the guy who cock blocked the word Wang? Like, yeah. let me like, how is Wang bad? But Mr. Johnson is OK. <laughs> or, or, or Nick or literally calling anyone whose name is Richard Dick. Yeah. You should like, you should have just been like kids. Apparently, the Internet is, has has deemed my name the word for penis. So just call me Mr. Penis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like it, it's worse when it goes Mr. Wang. Um, you, it's because then you make my name bad. Yeah. So, anyways, it was it was a cool experience, but it was weird because what it felt like was you know those rappers that like were underground, and then uh, they signed to a major label, right? And then their shit becomes all corny, and you hate them. Like Nas. I felt like the school <laughs> did that to skateboarding. Yeah. Where it was like, I love this job, uh, okay. but then it became so like corporatized, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then like. You know, everything was so like full pads, and there was a guy like any time yeah, a kid, the, like I would get in trouble. If a guy took his fucking wrist guard off. Really? Mm-hmm. I'd get like emailed. Like I saw a kid in the placebo, I synced yeah. it with no wrist guard. Ugh. I'm like, bitch, there's no such thing as a wrist guard when you grow up skating. Right, it's right. called just falling and it's, learning how to fall. It's called right. don't be a bitch. And it was just so much of these bullshit speculations. It's like yeah. we got all the scars in our elbows and for fucking just dude, because this this is the way you're supposed to fall if you yeah. fall forward. It's not. It was if so you can break, you just go like this. If you don't have any pads, just go like this. Go just scrape up your, your fucking elbows and take a roll. What's yeah. worse is I'm teaching in the hood where these guys are like DGK skaters. They're they they come in. Their eyes are blasted red. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. fucking weeded out of their. They don't even know I'm their teacher. <laughs> they're just like they're just stoked to skate yeah. in the school. Yeah, yeah, and they're all good. Yeah. 
So for me, like my reasoning is so you this, ha- but you got to be corporate. You're not gonna be yeah. Corporate. If this yeah. guy can hard flip a fucking twelve stair, and I see it on his Instagram. I don't think it's necessary for the fucking shin guard. <laughs> Right, right. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. the, but the shit guard's not on, and yeah. now they're on my fucking ass. You're a bad dude. You're not, like, yeah, watching yeah. them. So it was a constant, like, and it wasn't even the school. What's, an, what's annoying is the school was dope. The uh-huh. principal listened to no effects. Oh, he, cool. lo- he, he follows me on Instagram. But that, isn't that such it a weird thing It was the nonprofit about- that ran the program. Oh. They were the ones with sticks up their ass yeah. that were always like... And, and it Safety was, of the children. Every fucking day, it was like... Imagine, okay, you get done with a killer sesh. Uh-huh. The guy does the most... He does a Casper flip over a fucking trash can standing up, and you film it. Yeah. And I get in trouble because I filmed the clip. Why? Because you're not allowed to share that. It's exposing the students. It's like exploiting it, yeah. Okay. I, and I'm like, you guys don't understand. Skate culture is meant to share yeah. the skateboarding. Yeah. Like, well, can, but can you hand it to another kid and they can do it? No. Oh. Everything was just against you. And the problem was my... Well, what if you filmed it and sent it to the kid? It did, no, that? That nothing. It's just like you, no filming, no nothing. It was what? no filming, no nothing, full pads. One time I got in trouble. I got written up because Martin Rizzo, who actually was a van driver for the fucking program. Oh, yeah. really? Martin he, Rizzo, shout he, out Robert, Martin Rizzo. Shout out to Martin Rizzo. He What's shows up. Soundboard? <laughs> Martin Rizzo shows up and we do a trick off a ramp together doing a high five. And yeah. I get a I get a verb. I get a written warning. Not a verbal warning. A written warning. Like that's basically one strike on your job. Yeah. 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 Because he wasn't. He didn't have a helmet on. Oh, Martin God. Rizzo. And it's like. <laughs> Bro, it's so bad. It's so demoralizing where you feel like even though you're getting paid, your boss is the guy who would kick you out on a Sunday at a spot on a Sunday yeah, on his day off. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Where, you know, that guy who used to get mad at you skating the bank, but yeah. he doesn't even work there. He has nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah. It just affects him. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, fuck that guy. And I know exactly what you're talking about. Isn't that weird, though? Like, as we get older, like, we, we have to encounter these fucking people that, like, like, and they become your enemy that you you were when you that you had when you were a kid, right? Because like, what happens when you grow up, people want to wear these pants and bro- fill in these shoes, and it's yeah. just you're trying too hard. Yeah, they want to d- be so like I'm in I'm in this position where the guy who would supervise my program it made him look good to send reports to you know his supervisor. Sure. Because it makes him look like he's doing his job. Yeah. I'm wor- I'm making sure these kids are safe. Right. Yeah. That guy's but- not safe. He has a tattoo on his fucking eye. <laughs> that kid's a fucking gangbanger. He's yeah. lucky to not be out, like, beating the shit out of your kid. Right, exactly. You know? Like, these kids are... We're in, like, the ghetto, bro. Yeah. This is Huntington Park. This is and Compton. And, and, like, that's the thing. Well, uh, see, the, that's why I, I, I kind of took pride in doing uh, Parks and Rec stuff, too. Because it was, it was, like... You're kind of keeping these kids out of trouble by being entertaining and being... And that's uh, all you have to do. Yeah. It's like literally the fact that these kids are in a program, they wear a helmet, that's good enough. Right. Right. The fact that they would put the helmet on is good enough. Right. But these guys were like just down at the wire, safety first, you know, that yeah. overwhelmingly like, you know, it's, it's, it's like they're characters on Parks and Rec. Yeah. It was so bad where it was like, I told my supervisor, I'm like, you're a character on The Office. <laughs> How how is, yeah, how is this yeah. a real person? Yeah. Right. And yeah. so I just couldn't do it. I, I just got so tired. I started doing my own where I would do my own private lessons. Yeah. And it just started out as like kind of an experiment. Uh-huh. I had this 47-year-old engineer with Tesla who wanted to skate, who was paying like massive amounts of money to like some at Venice Beach Skate Park, yeah. driving way out of her way, getting ripped off to be in a class. Yeah. And she asked if I would do it just like me and her. And I just took everything I applied. If anything, I learned in that school was structure and how to build a curriculum. Yeah. Because a lot of these assholes are like, oh, I could teach skating. Well, good luck because these kids need structure, and it just isn't. It doesn't just like you just go out there. Yeah. You have to have a fucking plan. And you gotta have to. You have to have patience. And too. you have to have patience, and you have to know that these kids aren't at your level. Yeah. So just a basic pedaling down the street is it's a, a big, liability because that guy deal. could fall and break his arm, right? right. So, anyways, I just started to do this with this this girl, and I would put Instagram clips. And all these other parents were like, you teach skateboarding? And everyone just came out of the woodworks. And then one by one, I just started building clientele. And what's amazing is, like, these people that are putting their kids in the skate, they're all very successful. Like, everyone that I've gotten, like, 
does really well with their life. Yeah. And instead of using that money to like, you know, on some, they rather like, instead of their kid playing violin, they'd be like, I'd pay you to teach them a skateboard. Yeah. I think that's pretty dope. That is cool. Cause I want to teach them the right way. So now what I do, I say, I, I let them wear a helmet. I let them wear pads. But we go in the streets. It's not a skate park. Yeah. I want to teach them how we learned growing up, going out there and figuring it out, learning that, like, if you have your fucking headphones on, you might get hit by a car and die like that kid in Monterey Park, like, two, well, two weeks ago. Like, learning yeah. how to avoid a crack. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mom needs a beer run. You're going to skate down and get her some beer. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's know? why I had a skateboard most of the <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> Real skating. No, not this, go, not go to the store. Program like, skate you, like, bullshit. Like, you don't, like... Your brother's fucking making you late to, to school, so you just you're gonna get up, you're gonna ride your board to school. You're you know? gonna ride, yeah. I want to teach them that, and yeah. and honestly, when I switch to that, oh my god, these kids don't want to stop. We're yeah. like going past our time, and they're crying that they one kid wanted to skate home. I'm like, bitch, you live in fucking La Mirada, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But he's that horny. He's like, let's just skate there. Fuck it. I was like, that's a six hour skate, dude. <laughs> but he doesn't give a fuck. He wants. To I go love the conviction. Every- yeah, no, we're not doing yeah. that. You know, but he he's <laughs> he's, he's got the bug. Yeah, yeah. But if I put him at Rosemead Skate Park, he got like assholes like me and you falling everywhere. Yeah. Hey, Mister, are you okay? Right, right. You know, that's get up and get out of my way. <laughs> that's a different. When you go to those parks, it's so constricted and to, it's intimidating. It's if so you're... Olympics. It's like go get the fucking ollie down the twenty stairs. Yeah, that's, Bitch, that's not skating. Yeah. Skating is soul. It's like. Rolling out there and, yeah. and cruising, and, bro, and motivating your homie to do even even no matter what level they're at. Like even fucking- like today, dude. Ryan came out, dude. This guy's been off the board. I don't know how long, dude. And I he came out, did a three piece, like <laughs> four Ten tries. Years. He had a kickflip, a big spin, a board slide on the rail, and I'm like, dude, you just need a homie, yeah, to push you. That's yeah, for it. sure. For and sure. the rest is you. you and know then what that's, but that's also like eventually, like see, that's that's one of the things that was was kind of fun for me recently is I I because like I've been back on the board maybe maybe like a, two months now, and like I've I've excelled fucking for what I mean from going back from go, going back on that board after being off for what f- five six years maybe like getting back on that board and then and now to what I did today. It's, yeah, I it mean, was like two, it was like I brought you back out. Because here's the thing: is like you never lose skating; it's yeah. in you. But sometimes it's 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 a it's a with skating, it's mental, like comedy, right? Yeah. Like if I haven't done comedy in a month, and you tell me like you want me to headline Route 66, right? And I got fucking you know Daniel or you know like Zach Elk before me, I'll be really nervous because I'm not I'm not in that mental state to right. do it, right? But if I'm doing it with friends constantly, we're going to hit and open mics, right. you know. By the time I get there, it's like it's clockwork. Well, the, it, it was it, that's what I was getting to. Was like the fucking uh, so I hit up my 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 buddy Artie, who was one of my one of my boys back in the day. We used to skate together all the time, and like he sucked when I met him, right? I mean, he didn't. I mean, not he didn't suck, but he he it was like he hung sucked. Out, he hung he out with sucked. people who wouldn't push themselves the way I would. So like when we started skating together, like it he made sucked. him get. It made him get better. So at some then by the time like by the time we Where's were already at now, is he pretty good? We got back together. We got back together. We got back. We hooked up and we went to fucking. We went to South yeah, Omani. Yeah. And uh, and we we're both on the same level, you know. Like he still got he still got it. We he still you know what I mean. Like and he's just like dude. That's why I remember like fucking going out with you. Like because you always made me want to fucking hit shit harder. And so we were just kind of pushing each other that yeah, day. That's what you it's know, about. like yeah. You know what I loved about skating is that like, it's the only thing where like. You could like secretly stock, secretly practice, and like stock it. Yeah. And then in two years, they're like what the fuck? And <laughs> get like you come from? secretly yeah. good. Yeah, true. It's one of those like creepy things where like yeah. no one's watching. You're, you know, you're trying to up your friends. Just like comedy, yeah. like skating is. It really matters when like how much you skate. Yeah, when I mean that's skate- that, that was one of the first things my, me and my older brother bonded on too. Like we we fucking hated each other for I mean years <laughs> until like. At some point, at, at some point, I got good enough for him to invite me out to go roll with him and his homies. You know, like oh, shout out to Marlon, Marlon Moran. Oh, you know Marlon, Marlon Moran. Moran. Yeah. I just saw Marlon Moran, and uh, Marlon, if you guys don't know, went to New Hampshire to get a, a transplant for his kidney. Oh, oh wow! 
And so he know was that. out there. Yeah, I heard about and that. And I was like, dude, I'm trying to I'll just buy one for you off the black market, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got to go to New Hampshire. I'll Actually, get, give me a thousand bucks. Dude, I'll go to China. We'll make you one. Marlon's back, and he's going to be on my show next Tuesday. Oh, so. hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Shout out to Marlon Moran, yeah. dude. We got a lot of homies up in this bitch. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, that was, that's what I was saying. Me and my brother, like my older brother, but he was so gnarly. He was always just gnarly, right? Like, Does he still I, skate? Like, has he gone out with you at all? He came, dude. That's that's the crazy thing too. Like, just what you were saying. Like, I I tried to do this thing. I I like got ever. I I I made a Facebook event, and I was like, I was like, fat guy skate session. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah. What was funny is you put the invite out, and then I went. To, you put, and everyone slept in through it. It was oh, the for first, the second time. Yeah, yeah, it was the first Eve I'd ever went to where it was like the excuses we all slept in. <laughs> well, also, what what time did you put it at? Nine. Yeah, fuck that. Nine a.m. Yeah. But this guy's out at fucking like eight, seven in the morning. I'm, 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 That's I'm good a, for you. I don't wake up before 10. I know, but I feel you, like, man. Fuck, if I, like, if if you scheduled me at noon, I would make it. Noon, one o'clock. You well, know? Th- this is how bad I am. I have such a bug, and I'm so programmed that me and my girl went out this weekend to Palm Springs for our own vacation. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she just wanted to, you know, stay in all morning, probably cuddle and have sex. I was out the door at seven to go to the <laughs> skate park. <laughs> and I came back and she was fucking pissed, dude. She was like, you could do that any day of the week. And she's like, I need I to did. get out. Yeah, I did it this day. That's good, though, man. <laughs> but that's, but that's, I did it this day. But that's how you stay fresh, man. Like, you, I mean, you're, you're handling it. You're fucking... Yeah, I, see, I, I see the lines you put out on, on Instagram and stuff. Like, you got... Like, you know, it's just anybody who's like a who's a person that's just like, you know, weekend warrior watching you do it. It's like, fuck, I could be that, too. You know, like and, and anyone can. And it really just comes down to like, like, like it's it's you have 24 hours in a fucking day. Right. True. Yeah. Not enough and honestly, <laughs> I mean, a lot of us are like savages. Right. Who gives a fuck? We don't want to wake up till 10 or whatever. But. Like Day One is someone I follow. Day One song. Day One never Shout out Day One. Shout out to Day One. I love Day One. He's my <laughs> inspiration. If you watch Day One song skate, he's never skating past ten AM. Yeah. The guy's up at six. He's up at six and he's at and, and he's he's like still the biggest pro of all time. Still you watched, I'm sure you watched the documentary. Right? Yeah, it was dude fantastic. So let me tell you how dope Day One is. If they, I know I hope he watches this. This is how amazing Day One is. Day one puts me on guest list, right? Because we have a little rapport. I go to the fucking documentary we ha- at, at the Will Turn. And I, I, I asked, I go, is my name on the guest list? The guy pulls out 30 sheets. He's <laughs> looking for my name. You're not on the guest list, sir. I go, what the fuck? He put me on. He's like, hold on. He goes to his family and friends, which is a small list. Yeah. It's like 10 people. It's like Jamie Thomas, Tony Hawk, George Wayne. Oh, and I'm on his family and oh, friends that's list. Awesome, that's awesome, dude. And he put a friend of mine that has nothing to do with skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. So now we're in the fucking VIP, and I have to act like I don't know who Retta is. I who, who, who's <laughs> Jamie Thomas? I'm a comedian. Who are right. you? Like I'm playing the comedy. Spiel. And you're sitting with those guys. And I'm sitting there in fucking you know VIP oh with Tony God. Hawk with all these famous people. Oh my with God. Da- with Daywan's mom. Oh my God. And I'm God. like, who am I? to yeah. this guy <laughs> yeah i don't deserve i'm uh, not worthy yeah. but he is so fucking supportive and like he is so he's one of those guys he's like you're my asian brother you're doing comedy you're in skating you know, i'm gonna you, support you, you you have contact with him like via instagram or yeah what? we're pretty like we're and he's probably the first guy to like a fucking post every really? time i That's post awesome. something he is so supportive there's awesome. no ego Nice. Yeah. On that motherfucker. Hey, you know, you know who liked my post. You remember Tim Glom from from Viva La Bam? Yeah, oh, dude. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, so that, he made the made all the stuff. He right? made all the ramps and shit. So my my good buddy uh, Matt Lockwood. Shout out Matt Lockwood. Shout out Matt Lockwood. Lockwood. Yeah. He's Love a, that air horn. I gotta a, do it. Like I gotta figure the like. There's one pattern. That one. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the that's exact one that I want. <laughs> It's like uh, the exact right spasm of your fucking finger. So, so this, guy, this guy's always been a handyman throughout. I mean, we've known him for years too. He's, a, he's an yeah, old yeah. school boy. Like, and uh, he fucking he's a big dude. And like, I, I just and just so like he's, he's eight, kind of the one that got feet. me back into skateboarding. Most you know? mats are like big burly dudes. <laughs> he's a big like Matt dude. Lockwood, Matt Coleman, yeah. <laughs> Matt Tabiki. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I saw Anya's name in here. She, I think she was watching. Yeah, if maybe. that still is, maybe. yeah, there she <laughs> is. Yeah, that's his wife. Shout out Anya. What up, Anya? Shout out Anya. Shout on, out Anya. Anya's a great, a great wife and a great host, hostess. 
I was. I always with get, the most. Is. So every Wednesday, ah! he's a, so he's a bus driver. So every Wednesday, pretty much every Wednesday, I go over to his pad, and we just skate in the garage. Yeah, and yeah, like, I saw those. Yeah. It's hilarious. You're all faded. You're yeah. doing a kickflip in the <laughs> yeah. garage, and, and we falling. drink beers all day. We yeah. fuck, you know, we fuck around, and like, dude, and some good shit comes out of it. And like, he gets all sweaty, he gets all convicted to fucking land a kickflip, land a burial flip, like, and he does it, and he's like, fucking, dude, he's six four and like three hundred pounds. You know, isn't like, it funny? Like, you could be so unhealthy and be a good skater. <laughs> Like, yeah, you can man. be a fucking straight drug addict who parties every night and, like, win street league. Uh, what? You know, uh, like, <laughs> like it's like, if you look at athletes in any, any other sport, yeah. like basketball, well, like, you could, th- these guys are, you know, baseball. maybe they smoke weed. Baseball. But you could be a complete piece of shit yeah. and be really good at skating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, anyway, so he he uh, he's a, you know he's always been a handyman too. So like I was like, dude, I I need a flat bar. Like let's do a flat. Like I want to start doing some grindy grinds around here, you know. And he's like, he's uh, he's like, he goes, we could take apart that. And it's like a weightlifting fucking and he bench. skates the weightlifting. Oh, yeah. he took apart his own weightlifting he, he took bench. A weight- <laughs> Yeah, he took well, a I, don't, I don't need this. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's got his own bench, but it was like some other fucking weird equipment thing, mm-hmm. and he just broke it. He busted it up and just and like and just within, started skating the dude, bench within. No, 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 no. He fucking, welded. He yeah. He he fucking he grinded pieces off of it. He welded it together. Just created and a little created flat a ramp. bar. Yeah. Just, just creates a flat bar for me, and I just you was gotta laughing, love and that, I documented like, the whole thing, and I, and I, I know I saw that. Yeah, so I, I saw I, the little flat bar. Yeah, so I posted it on Instagram, and I was like, I was like, uh, I got, I said I got my own Tim Glom with me, uh, Matt Lockwood. Oh, did, did you tag? Tim and Glom? I tagged oh, yeah. Tim Glom and Tim Tim Glom and, was and, horny, and he, and he like he met, he was like, oh, oh, wait, go on. Uh, Sorry, no, I he, got horny and then right he just, now. And he just goes so sick, like. Like appreciate the tag, you know, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Like, and I just told this week, okay, so I did this uh, trick at the mall, and you know those stupid. <laughs> whenever you leave the mall, you know they have those like those those. It's like a manual pad, right? You know what I mean? Like it's like a block. It's like an island lot. cement. It's a cement island. It's a box. Yeah. Yeah. So I did it. I did a trick, and I <laughs> used Judas uh, Judas Priest breaking the law. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judas Priest reposted my clip. I saw that. Shout dude. out, my shout out Judas Priest. Was gonna explode. That's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, it was like the sickest fucking yeah. feeling, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh man, Judas Fuck. Priest might be. Judas Priest maybe. Okay, so are you like what kind of music are you into, Garrett? Are you like dude? A- I'm okay. So as far as music goes, I'm on all like the entire spectrum of music depending on my mood. And that's the weirdest thing. Like right now, when you walk, you walked like, in, I walked in, I and thought I was playing fucking- some, I'm playing what, what's playing right now, but it's also EDM. Fine, it's a perfect background music. This right now is just a uh, cyberpunk. See, uh, I'm radio into, mix. I'm into this shit too. Like, this is the kind of stuff. Yeah, like, I'm gonna turn this up just so people can hear a few seconds. But it's just like, yeah, I came into this. Uh, I, I like, like this stuff. You but like it, EDM and shit? I like like you know house music. EDM, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I have this on whenever it's I'm good just party doing shit. Whenever I'm doing work around like, the house, if you, it's also good background shit that, you, yeah. that doesn't distract you. If you're like that's the that's the number one thing that I look for when I need to do work around the house. Like what when I'm like I, I usually have done like you know like classical this right uh, here. scores shit like this. And I found this. I'm like this is perfect. I'm like this room was horrible I'm horrible before you got here and so I put this on and like in like less Sorry, than an hour I fucking yeah. did you smoke cyclone. a little weed and no I can't work with like really on, no uh, yeah. weed puts us to sleep Garrett and I are uh, not even sativa every no every time we smoke weed it's just like <gasps> yeah <laughs> yeah but you're smoking the wrong weed you need to smoke sativa this is, you know th- no, everyone every, every, got, every fucking weed. person has told me this and yeah. it doesn't matter because yeah. it <laughs> really, really doesn't matter yeah uh, are you sure? Because the sativa, if I smoke a sativa, the, that just makes me fucking paranoid. Yeah. And so I'll just... Okay, that's true. We're going to do paranoid! <laughs> yeah. So I'll just so I'll just sit in a, I'll sit in this seat, and I'll just keep thinking somebody's, like, watching me. You know? Somebody, I mean, the it, aliens it does, are coming, make, it does you know? make your brain, like, process yeah, shit quicker. Yeah, and I are, I'm already a paranoid kind of anxious person so right. when, when i do that so it's weed just, is not it's your... not good for me i think what it is for for at least me possibly him too is i like to kind of like focus on one thing it's a, i feel like if i smoked weed and try to do work i'd be fighting against the weed i want to enjoy the weed mm-hmm. like when i smoke it, i want to be in nature or going to sleep that's it same like, okay same. like i want to just have that same. experience i can be really high on a, on a hike 
Yeah, okay. yeah. exactly. <laughs> I can, we can both do that. That makes but, sense. But like, like smoking, smoking weed and trying to do something else it feels like I'm just fighting against it. And then why would I do that? Wow. Yeah. It's weird because that it has to reverse on me. Like if I do sativa, it's what makes me skate. It's what makes me yeah. really? like, so right. Is... It's what makes me clean the house. No. And I'm um, the opposite where I, I have to have. Well, you know, I'm a big drinker and. Every now and then, but on Sienna's saying, I feel like my music sucks and nobody would want to hear it. Well, what kind of about, music do you, do you make? You music, make? or are you talking about like music you listen to? Because uh, going back to that, this is just what I, I was talking about, like putting on to work. But like, it literally depends on my mood. Like lately, like the weekend, just put on a few new hits and did been listening to that. Uh-huh. Uh, growing up, rock was a big thing, but more so because I was friends with Brian, I would be exposed to it more. So it's kind of whatever's in my face that I like. And that's kind of exactly what it is. I, I had this conversation with one, one of my friends where I'm like, I'm getting into this stuff right now. And, it's, and they're like, I would never thought you would have liked that. I'm like, that's just because when you were in, like, when you were listening to it and I wasn't, I just wasn't listening to it. If you showed it to me more, I, I'd get into it and I'd start going down that rabbit hole. But I'd never, yeah. I never say, fuck the music that I listened to before. My iPod, and I still have an iPad. iPod, fuck Dude, you. Dude, I would have too. No, don't fuck me. If you pick up, if you pick up that iPod, you, you'll see all my fucking cra- my greatest like, the songs I me. love. <laughs> I won't fuck you. <laughs> all the songs that I love from high school, and I would still listen to every single one of those tracks. And it, it's going spanning from like, yeah, fucking R and B pop music from like the fucking eighties and like hard, uh, hardcore. There's some hardcore. There's emo. There's fucking everything. That it just depends on what mood I'm in just and things, what I want to yeah, listen to yeah. at the time. I get you. The last I'm time I saw too. files like this, okay, it was this guy I knew. He was like a really squeaky clean guy, and he was one of those like he had like one of those like church images, and then he used to have like folders like this, and uh-huh. then I clicked on one one day because he left his computer on. It was like hip hop. And I had just lost, I, I don't know what I clicked on, but the minute I opened it, he had like every single porn <laughs> out, like categorized by his fetish, like yeah. feet one, feet two, <laughs> foot job three. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Oh, just also, did, you fucking, did you, go back, did you know out. Garrett in a, pre- in a previous They do these folders to hide porno, dude. Yeah. It's like really creepy. Going but. back to this, there was it's a fucking hilarious uh, stream of memes where it's like um, people that... <laughs> <laughs> like are into foot porn are at like the bottom of the list of like the highbrow p- fetishes that are out there right now. Like literally, okay. oh, you know the porn. Winnie the you know the Winnie the Pooh one where he like gets fancier in the seat. I haven't. I haven't the, seen the, that. Meme, the meme. The meme. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So essentially, or or like the the mind where it's like expanding and you see more lights and shit like that. And then like it's just like people that are into foot porn are just at the very fucking bottom. And people, so are the, of them you're like the hilarious. worst of the worst of porn. Exactly. No, you're and, the, you're, I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'll be well, honest. No, you're the worst of the fetishes. With all I the, don't mind good like foot porn. <laughs> I don't either. I'm, I but I'm with you. I'm, don't I'm, care I'm, for it. Uh, wait. Okay. okay so what let, are we let's about? Like, Hold on. what's your favorite sport porn? Be honest. Type like, or favorite type? Like you, like cream pie, fucking AMFW. If I had to pick one specific, like if you had to watch one video and it had to contain these things, because for me it's not one thing. It has and to be, be it honest. Has, it has, has to hit certain spots. It's got to be th- like three. Just like sex for me. Okay, so what's your favorite type of okay, porn? Okay, so <laughs> I've been doing uh, what are they called? Pogs. What's that? Oh, it's, uh, it's pretty. What is it? Pretty fat ass white. Fat girls. ass white girls. Yeah. So that's what Pog. Okay. Is. Also, a yeah. uh, toy in like the late '90s, early or late '80s, oh, early '90s, toys, where yeah. they're like circles and then they did slammers and you fucking hit them. Yeah, so Pog, so fat with a ph. So right? yours, so, and then what so, about so you, that's, Garrett? That's, it's fat ass white girls Ooh. doing uh <laughs> doing. It, 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 it's pretty tame shit, you know. I mean, that's every, pretty mellow. And, and every, like, every once in a while, it's like titty fuck, but you know, anal. Really? You know. That's your favorite? Okay. I so actually it, dislike anal, to be honest. I, as far really? as looking at it, I've never I, done I, anal. I really enjoy it. Is my mom still listening? Are you still listening? I think, mom? okay, most guys like <laughs> anal because they, they can't what? get them pregnant. I, I asked if my mom was still listening. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, she, if, dude, if she was uncomfortable with that jail shit, whoa, let's just stop the podcast now. No, because my, my mom listens to every episode. Holy but shit, I told, right. I've told her since the beginning, I will not censor myself, but it's just kind of weird. This is, this is on the verge of the weirdest stuff that I talk about. Shout in front. out to uh, your mom. Hey, I, listen, we're I will give you this warning. Real. I'm going to say, I'm going to talk right now. Um, so for me, like going back to it, I, <laughs> I've never like we done. We got a few likes on the whole anal thing. I know, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> we, it all started sparking real quick. <laughs> I've never done anal, and and but I don't like seeing it for whatever reason. I like seeing vaginal vaginal penetration. Um, I think it's interesting that how like I just like seeing what I want to do. 
right. which is basically it's not crazy stuff to be whatever honest. you want like yeah exactly job no or... it's it's passionate it's semi-aggressive definitely no pain involved like i don't like any of that stuff some new biles um and yeah if if i if i if i want to finish i want i want a cream pie in there well That's you know good. what you know it's weird is like now i'm getting into like Cause like I was like milf stuff used to, be, I'm like milf like that's kind of but like now milf means people my age, yeah. right? It is kind of <laughs> weird to see that. No, like yeah, so it's it's kind of weird. I don't so, like, care about the age mature, range. To be honest, like, like mature means like people in their 30s and 40s now. Right. And I'm just like yeah, that's kind of that's my right. like we grew up checking yeah. out to those people. <laughs> well, okay, here's what well, I was into AMWF, which is Asian male, white female. Like but that. if you guys ever okay, what's your so girlfriend? Mexican, if you I watch, said? she's um, white and Latina. Okay. So if you ever if you ever watch Pornhub or whatever, you know how they have like a rating. Yeah. Anytime there's an Asian guy, it's like, it's, <laughs> no, it's bad. Oh, really? They fucking hate it. Oh, <laughs> my mom's all like, okay, I'm back. I muted it. Every, <laughs> every Asian dude with a white girl would get like 10, 20 percent, and then if it was anything else, 99, 100. And it always was like, and I noticed when you watch like Asian male when they they it's less hardcore. Uh-huh, it's more uh-huh. of them like 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 the way you would hook up in real life, right? Right. And people hate that's that. the kind of shit that I like though. And people I, I, like I'm not, I'm they weren't too. they hated that because there was no there was no like money shots. It was just like the guy cream pieing in the vat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or like ah, yeah. and he like comes on her stomach, yeah. and it's like real life shit. Yeah. But either they hate the Asians or they just hate the content. <laughs> yeah. I think and it's I, that. I, think, I think it's not very hardcore. I it's not used hardcore to get enough. because I was like, why is that so? Why is, why is that ten yeah. percent lazy Asian? And it doesn't matter. It could be Sasha Gray, but he's an Asian guy, ten percent. Yeah. Bitch, <laughs> but he's like, like so he's still, and he gets a hundred and one out of eighty thousand viewers. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. No, like uh, it's it's interesting because like like I said, I, I mom, you can mute it again if you want. <laughs> uh, I like watching stuff that I would do, and that's probably because it's like I if it if it looks like it's gonna be fun, I want to incorporate. You want to be yeah. uh, realistic, like POV. exactly. I, I'm very much like a POV realistic type of thing, for me. and so POVs. do that. Yeah, POV is much better than like, I love just, POV. I think the word here's, POV. here's something I fucking hate. I hate stationary one angle camera shit. I don't want to. I don't me care. Neither, that's boring. Yeah, I'm just like, we what need some multi-cam fucking POV. Let you me get all up in there. POV is better because you don't see the guy. You oh, just yeah. see the girl. Yeah. And then it's like you could easily put yourself Dude, in the guy. there is nothing worse than watching porn and the guy have, being so much more audible than the woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he has that. Oh, yeah, baby. Spank <laughs> my uh, hairy uh, ass. Uh, 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 yeah. He has, uh, the, he has that. Yeah. Uh, 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 especially when he has long uh, hair. He has yeah. to whip it back. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, and he's like biting his lip. Uh, uh. Yeah. The that worst is when they're mean. So I don't like it when they're too yeah. mean. You fucking bitch. Yeah. You yeah. like that, you little you like fucking that, you whore. Fucking slut. Like Suck on that fucking like dick, you fucking bitch. Yeah. It's like, you sound like a villain on an anime, dude. Like, why are you so mad? None of this. <laughs> None of that. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't like poop it. Poop stuff, no. No. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like, butt I don't, stuff. I don't, I don't. Butt stuff. Great. Poop stuff. Poop stuff. No. Pee stuff. Eh, nah. I think blood stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> the poop stuff is only because guys think it's tight and they don't get her pregnant. That's what I think is like. The, what do you mean? You mean the butt? No, I'm saying. Uh, and turn like, tar- like full and why, on, why like guys poop. like watching anal sex is no, prob- not just, not just no, anal. Not, like, no, an- there's a the difference poop. between anal and poop. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like anything involving peeing or pooping. <laughs> Yeah, that is not like <laughs> well, it's not. So we're all sexual normal thing. human beings. Here. I've yeah, never yeah. been. In, I've so, never wanted to so pee weird. on my girlfriend. I never wanted to shit in her mouth. Like it's not yeah, my I thing. I used, but, I, mean, on, what, I used to what, pee on my girlfriend in the shower all the time. When a, when, when, <laughs> just because that was funny. <laughs> when a woman squirts, it is pee though. <laughs> yeah, but that, uh, that's where I think squirting. Garrett's is, yes, mom peeing. should leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going. You now. need to just unplug wherever you're at. Just please leave. So if we want, do we want to sidetrack? I was just gonna pick this up i was like i wanted to put my my actual music on shuffle and show you exactly so it starts okay. like, the first song to come on was deftones and then shuffle going next billy joel we didn't start the fire yeah then we got tonic oh that song stained i gotta message my girl and let her know i'm being a little late one republic shiny toy guns Oh my god, you know what? You just reminded me. I gotta put some shiny toy guns on my phone. <laughs> Metallica. Oh, Bloodhound Gang. 
So this just kind of like goes in. Damn. <laughs> I've, I've never System. been into like slow and then it goes into heavy metal. See, here's like, the one I thing that I've, I've learned a lot of. Fucking you! <laughs> like, I've oh, never yeah. been into. I, I just get you. Like That's it. A, like a tray you. I like yeah. Judas. Like, like, it's fucking hardcore from the beginning. Yeah. There's I'm, no, I'm there's, with you on that. There's no nickelback buildup. I'm you with know? you on that. I'm with you on that. However, there are a few songs that I like from certain bands that like are kind of like ballady, and then they go into like they'll go into just like a like a three minute jam. So of, what like, are you know your I mean? your metalhead? I know you're. Are you both metalheads? Me- yeah, but I'm I'm like but I'm more of like a like just a standard yes metalhead like from like the '80s. You know. So what I mean? like, like, what's your go to fucking heavy metal band? Metallica. That's, that's like my that. favorite band. Like, did you like their new that one it's, album? I loved it. I loved it. Was it. Good, right? It was fucking great. I, it, Lars. It, here's the thing: is like so many, <laughs> so uh, just with any with any sort of fucking uh, you know passionate thing that you might be about with, you know, it's like they there's always these purists that will talk mad shit, you know, like. Like the comic book movies or anything like that, like especially with like metalheads, dude. They all they love to find a reason to complain. Like, oh, they hate everything, dude. dude. And it's like, hey, why can't we just enjoy this stuff? You know, like, fuck, yeah, like I, I like, like, I'm like what you like. Like, I just, I'm like, I just, I love Metallica, and I think I, I, and you know, we can, we can, we can sit here and debate on. I mean, even Load and Reload that everyone gave them shit about in the 90s. I'm like, I love those albums, too. Well, to be honest, too, like, you know, I'm a huge hip hop head. But then, like, if you ask me, do you want to go see Metallica or do you want to go see, like, The Wu? I would probably say Metallica only because, I know, don't get mad, is that the live performance of a good metal act is way more entertaining. Way more entertaining. When I saw Judas Priest, my fucking head exploded. Yeah. They're great. And, like, they're, ah! yeah. and in the guy in the solos, yeah. it's like it's it's amazing. Dude, it's so good. How about I got to see okay, I don't know if you're a big Motorhead fan, but I got to see I got to see Motorhead like the tour before Lemmy died. So like oh, shit. and it was and it was like it was like the fucking it was the the beginning of his sickness pretty much. So like we so I actually got to see a full set and like just got to I mean he fucking to the till you know, he was what? I mean, he died at like 79 or something like that. And it was like what killing he, it. What did he die it. of? Uh, I mean, pancreatic cancer. He had cancer. You think it's from drinking and shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also old age. Like, he fucking made it to like 79. Like, that was a miracle in itself. That's like, pretty good, dude. Yeah, I mean, the dude lived a hard life. Like, it was like he was. Like, for all those drugs to make He was it doing drugs and drinking all the way up How until the his fuck fucking is 60s. Ozzy still alive? Dude. That's crazy, dude. And he's barely alive. How about my mom went to go treat him? Really? My mo- my mom's a, nur- uh, a nurse, but she does like she specifies in, uh, or she yeah she does like uh, like blood transfusions and shit like that. So like, well, a lot of those rock homies do the blood transfusions. They do shit though. like that. So my mom goes. My my mom's been doing house calls for like celebrities, and she'll go and and she'll go to their house and they'll pay fucking you know out the window for for like these these nurses come through. And then they 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 oxygenize their blood and repump it in so that they can you know because it's a it, it just gives them a boost of energy and yeah because like, like they can't you know their blood their blood's so but thick and insane, gross like how insane is it to like ha- get to that level where you're like I'm gonna party all month and then just change my blood look I just heard about Dubai uh, I just yeah. heard about a fucking a uh, personal trainer that. Was I mean no fucking never he he like had he living a healthy lifestyle didn't drink didn't do drugs he at died, all he died right he had a fucking massive heart attack yeah you know what it is steroids and pre workout that's what I was thinking uh yeah definitely sometimes like there's just so much that you could die from that's like just kind of live your life just yeah, try and it. make better choices do, if you can look be as healthy as you can possibly be yeah, but exactly. also have a good time you it, know don't, it's hard to be like if you're, if, if you're gonna be like oh you shouldn't eat that burger i'll tell you go fuck yourself but at the same time i'm not eating burgers six days a week right you know like most of my meals tend you to be gotta, you just gotta leaner be proteins and like complex carbs and i try and put as many veggies or fruits as i can i have this i literally got the blender so that anytime any of my like produce starts to starts to go bad just i just blend it. throw it all in the fucking yeah, blender. Fuck yeah, make a smoothie. Boom. You know what's sad though is our 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 food system so fucked that the the way people live and turn things around is just eating the way you're supposed to eat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like fruits and veggies. It's those same documentaries. It's always some fucking guy 
who ate pizza and fucking chicken his whole life. Yeah. And then he gets all fuck, and, and then he just drinks still stupid juice juice shakes. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm I'm 40. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which we all know what to do. Right. Yeah. It just stop. It's it's. Uh, there's I think no life's research. about balance. Yeah. It is there's about no balance. Re- yeah. It's like yeah, I'll have some fried chicken and then I'll have a fucking salad eventually. Just <laughs> yeah. eat shit that's natural. That's it. That's the fucking bottom line. Yeah. You know, no processed shit. But yeah, we fuck, were. Fuck, uh, I love I Taco was... Bell. I love that taco. <laughs> fuck, I, love, I love Taco Bell too. I love bro. fucking In and Out. After I don't I'm love drunk. Taco Bell. I love In and Out. Fucking love Taco. I Bell. I will fuck with Taco Bell. I love that the the dollar menu there is the best menu. Man. They got the potato tacos for a buck. They got that seven. What? They got that seven dollar meal. That seven dollar meal. It's, it's two so chalu- It's two chalupas and a and a, and a fucking taco. So for like fuck. six seven bucks. And I'm just like God. all day, bro. Like I'm like I don't give a fuck about the heartburn I get. Like heartburn. pick. One fast food spot, and that's the place you have to eat for a year. Oh, Ta- that's it. Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Yeah. That's or good, in and out Or in and out You can pick one. Good choice. Taco Bell or in and out Taco Bell. I'm going to have to go Chipotle. Just they Does they got, even count as fat? Uh, because they got the vegetable shit, and they fucking give free drinks if you own a business. Oh, no. I, I would have died that year. They got free drinks for what? Uh, so if you own <laughs> like a business mall, they give you free soft drinks. Yeah, I oh, that's know. right. So you're at the mall doing, uh, doing yeah. Things, yeah. So I opened I up a counts. shop. At huh? the mall. Hold on. What, what are you saying? What, what was yours? What's your? What's no, your I wanted to go back to that. I don't know if Chipotle counts as like fast, fast food. food if they honest. don't have a drive through, it doesn't pretty, count. That's what no. I'm saying. It has to have a drive through. If you can just drive through and get in and out within, like, literally in and out in less than five minutes. Granted, you walk through. In and out would be the healthier choice, but like, but the they, ta- they have limited amount of choices. That's, that's the problem. That's, that's true. That's why I love Taco Bell. Yeah. I, you know what though, Ryan? I'd be with you on Taco Bell. My mom's saying King to Taco. To be honest, it would, I would say that's delicious. No. King Taco. King that Taco. Count, that's though. Chipotle, dude. You can't. That's the same. Yeah. No, that's in my mom. Where that's, fast food like, is like Del Taco, Taco Bell. Yeah, internet. Or we're talking about drive through. Um, like, it has to like, have a drive through. McDonald's, yeah. Burger King, like Bolt, like. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. can suck it, by the way. Suck the, those, Dude, fuck those why prices. Why is Carl's Jr. so expensive? It's so yes, expensive. Get and the it fuck sucks. out of here. Yes. Bro, I literally, you turned out of it and like had to come at, because it's like the cheapest thing is $3.79. Yeah. Yeah. For a burger. And you're like, I can like, go to what? In-N-Out. I just can go to a- In-N-Out and get a real fucking burger. I'll yeah. go to a fucking Indian buffet over fucking <laughs> Charles Jr. No, I went there and I was like, dollars. why is all, I thought you were like, I was like, do you have a value menu? And they're like, no. Yeah. I'm like, what? No, Carl's Jr. But then it also good sucks. Shot. Del Taco is a good choice. They, I haven't had Del Taco the, in years. Del Taco is, I mean, that's... that's. Uh, but Taco I feel Bell like it, all day I feel day like inferior to Taco Bell, but it, still good. Yeah, mm. it's like the... Yeah, it's the fucking those, Yahoo of Google. Those 99 shit. cent fucking so- chicken soft tacos, bro. Yeah, but Del Taco Bell all day. Yeah. All day, every day. Like, the fucking... I love Del Taco. I love Taco Bell. <laughs> Del Taco is cool because I get the better deals with the online coupons and shit. Yeah. But Taco Bell all day, every day. Yeah, me too, man. I guess if just to play into like the parameters of the rules, I'm going with Wobble Grill because there are drive throughs You fuck. That's good. Yeah. He's smart. Yeah, there are, yeah. there are drive through okay. Wobble okay. Grills. If we're going to do this, yeah. You can also I would get still salmon. pick Taco Bell. No, over because that's exactly grill. what I was thinking. I was like, fuck. Like I fuck, I kind of fuck myself with the whole drive through thing. Yeah. But but I've definitely been to Wobble Girls that have drive throughs Yeah, yeah they yeah, do. Yeah. But Taco Bell. But if <laughs> not talk about Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle is the best, like fakest, healthiest food. I would actually take Wobble Grill over Chipotle. Really? If I had the option, I would take. The, the thing here's my main thing is it's like it just ta- it all tastes the same eventually. It's all whereas Wobble Girl, you can kind of get different flavors coming like, out of it. I don't like the blandness of the meats from uh, from Chipotle. Same. That's what I was saying. It just tastes like one yeah. well, I'll be one on- seasoning for all meat. Yeah. Guys, I'll be get the ve- the veggie the vegan sofritas. The, so fritas. Yes. Mm. Get that shit. Like and loaded with salt, so you don't taste like ass. <laughs> this guy's like Popeye's <laughs> chicken sandwich. Fuck it, I'll die. Oh, these <laughs> don't. Yeah, it's true. Have I you guys that, had one of those I've things? had two, and I love them. They're, They're amazing. amazing. Okay, yeah. I haven't had one yet. I've had one. I love them. I've, as someone who's had plenty of, of Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches, I can honestly say, honestly say without a doubt, uh, I prefer Popeye's chicken sandwiches. However, I like spicy breaded, whereas Popeye's only has spicy sauce. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to plug something. Better. There's a place called Baja Cali Tacos. And uh, today is, is, is that in the Arcadia Mall? I think they just got they open just a new opened. one. It's a dollar tacos. Both of you guys should fuck with it. Uh, they're friends of mine's. I think they actually opened up a place in the mall because they saw me open a place in the mall. 
Yeah. Because I so been, your your place is in uh, San Diego. Yeah. So I uh, opened up a little pop up. We sell like luxury kids toys, electric skateboards. It's like cool shit for you know for the holidays. Um, but uh, that this taco place I fuck with. You know, I literally saw them like come from nothing. Ooh, Poy Loco. And That's now not bad they're either. now they're on their ninth location. Wow. And uh, nice. I love I love hole in the wall spots that kind of blow up, but they don't. Because they it's don't, a perfect success They don't story. become like corny, blow yeah. up. They just kind of keep it real, and they yeah. just you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I might change my answer to Poyo Loco. I forgot they have drive throughs and also also there's not one around here. All right, what's the there most was. legit in a uh, like? Um, fast food restaurant in terms of like quality of food, like most legitimized, like less quality. I mean, Waba's up there as far oh, wow. it, it, like Waba El Pollo. Well, Waba, Waba I feel Pollo. like is not even on the level of El Pollo. No, but it's different food. Like, like Pollo Loco has so much of a bigger menu. Waba Girls, your basic. How about Panda? Rice, Panda up there. Meat, veggies. Sauce. How about Panda? Is Panda like uh, even no. a, a fucking... As someone who's had... Because when I worked at LA Fitness, there was a Panda Express right next door. And I'm like, this shit is so fattening. Because it's all made with gallons of like oil and sauce. And it's yeah. just... It's not good for you, but it tastes good. Yeah. Tastes good. Tastes great. Definitely not good for you. It's so bad for you. That orange That's chicken so all day. Bro. Oh, it just brought me a repressed memory. So... I live. I've. I've. I've, I've lived. I live Chicken in Monterey Park, and I've grown up in this area for a long time. Bro, have you fucked with the like not panda, but the fake like not the the low key wannabe pandas around here? Like Wait, no, this is what I'm saying. Like, because like, you obviously you've had all these good spots around here because yeah. this is authentic, but better Asian food because basically what you get you get recipes from Asia yes, that are are yes. made better by Hispanic people making the food. Way better here. And my friend who I have known this is my oldest friend literally for his birthday was like let's go to fucking um PF Chang's. And I have never been to a PF Chang's. And what did you think? Have you been one? Uh, yes. I was like this is the most shitty it's not expensive good. Asian food I've Thank ever had. Thank you, sir. And but You're he, a true him, Asian. him his he family, loved it. He his loved it. other friends, loved it. they loved it, and I'm like, mm. because they haven't been to Monterey Park. No, that he grew up here. He grew up two blocks. Has that he way. been to Shade Seafood on? I don't, fucking I don't fucking know. I gotta ask him. Bro, I'm like, there are places here that like, okay, okay. What Monterey Park did is ruin Chinese food for me when I travel. Yes. Every, every city I go to, they want to come at me with like, we got the best Chinese in <laughs> fucking Ohio. Yeah, no. good luck. You know what's funny? My, it's not gonna happen. My uh, my aunt and and her husband went to China. Went to China, and they said the food's better in Monterey Park. It's better in Monterey <laughs> because what happens in China? You go to China, it's just for Chinese people, and it's just vegetables. Monterey Park's got to do some weird shit to not only attract Chinese, but they want to get the Everyone other cultures. Else. I went to Mama Lou's last night. Me and my girlfriend nice. had this. Shout art. out! Shout out, Mama Lou! Mama Lou's dumpling house. This the, is how good this place one? was. There's two of them. Uh, I went on the to same the, street. the OG one, okay? <laughs> okay, that way. So we were in, she wasn't having a good day. I wasn't having a good day. We weren't even at good with each other. Mm -hmm. Mama Lou's just saved our day. Yeah. We had the juicy pork dumplings and we had the pan fried. We were like in love again after yeah. that meal. Fuck. Good like, food even, is good mood. I'm craving some Mama Lou right now. For sure. Mama Lou. Mama Lou. No, because you know, because uh, you, you work in the mall now. You know Din Tai Fung. Oh yeah, Din Tai Fung was really good. I, I, I love like, Din Tai. Yeah. I, I, it's really good. Very different though. But then someone was like, "I tried Din Tai Fung, amazing." And I'm like, "You should go to Minor Park and try like any, any Mama Lou, Mama Lou, or any of the other." When they places. say like Mama Lou's better, uh, yeah. It is. Well, I feel Once like I Din Tai Fung is more of a controlled, it organized. Is. Din Tai Fung is very corporate, but I like the fact that it is one of the first places that I want not. Like, yeah, one for that the the Fung customer is, service was pretty crazy. Was American level, but like top level <laughs> versus like it's it's a stereotype, but it's a true thing. A lot of really good Asian places have horrible customer service. Yeah, so if you guys there's, ever there's go a dim sum place that I will only get to go because fuck them, fuck That's, them. But their food's good. And you know what? It's okay, guys. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be fucked up, but if you go to like a fucking Chinese restaurant and you go with that twenty percent bullshit, don't do that. Two bucks is good enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You go to a shitty Chinese place. They don't give you the good service. You don't have to feel obligated to do the five or ten dollar tip on the sixty bucks. Give them ten percent. That's they'll be more than happy with that. Bro, the, the the customer service was so bad at this place. 
we asked for the check five times so much that the date I was with was like, if they don't bring it, just walk just out. Just go. We can go. I've I'm done like, that. I've done that before. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I was, I was like, I'll do it They've one more time. It's taken so fucking long like, to bring, bring my to bring my check. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm not paying you then. Yeah, just you walk know. out. Dude, yeah. I'm like, if I have to ask you multiple times for the for, for me to charge to pay me, you, 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 know, you, then you, you just fuck throw, you. you throw ten bucks and you walk out on yeah. the bill. So at least you tip them. Yeah. But still, it was like, ugh. so I only get that place to go now. But there's so many great spots for everything around here. Uh, check out Mama Lou's. There's two locations, same street for whatever reason. Um, yeah. And uh, you know what, guys? I love you all, but I get to get the fuck I know. Out. You yeah, actually I know you you pushed it a little bit. I know you, you had to get it. up pretty early. Yeah. I did. This is when you have a good time. It's like you have to leave, but you don't want to. <laughs> I heard yeah, that. But, um, we well, we're going to we're, we're get into uh, to movie news when, once you get out of here, too. Yeah, so, so we'll actually, okay. uh, we'll, we'll take a break. Let's, let's take a music break. <laughs> we'll take a music break. I had, might have a song lined up right here. And I love you guys I really all. Don't. Follow me on George Wayne Jr. on Instagram. Uh, you can catch me doing my comedy there. And then uh, you know what? Okay, bring on bring on this song. I think you're gonna like it. It's called Diana by the Sounds. Put it on the on the YouTubes. Okay. Oh wait, that might put us pulled though. Huh? That's what I was saying. I, 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 don't worry, I got it. Just, just okay, okay. talk talk some talk talk, talk amongst, amongst yourselves. yourselves. I got this. All right, so Wayne, go ahead. Uh, what do you what do you got what do you got going? So, actually, you brought up Carlos Escobar. I'm going to be at the Rev Winery January, uh, December 26th, uh, January 3rd, I believe. I'm at the Ice House, Sticky Rice Comedy. And then at this on the 16th, I'll be at Harvell's or something in Long Beach. I don't know. Just follow me on George Wayne Jr. Just don't follow me in real life because I'm just creepy as shit. Word. But, uh, <laughs> wait, wait which that, day are you doing uh, Revs? 26. Are you doing that one? I think I'm on that one. No way. Please tell me you are. Oh no, I'm not. No, no, no. he got he has me in January. I think he has me closing that one out. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll cruise just to support. Yeah, yeah. Well, you'll see a lot more of me and Ryan either skating or comedy. That's for follow, sure. Follow follow George Wang Jr. and on follow the... Ryan, dude. I'm sure you guys follow him already, <laughs> but but you should. But just, you should yeah. just do it. You and should, honestly, and you should follow me in real life. The highlight yeah. of my day today was seeing Ryan uh, come out and and like you know do some get a clip because <laughs> I know this. I, I, if you guys watch Ryan in like 2001, when he put those those throwback clips. Yeah, you see him with the beanie visor going down <laughs> hubba's. You know, it, it's 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 like good seeing someone do something they love. Good again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Well, you I, was, I, was, I was very excited to, to be yeah, with you please, today. Yeah, please, dude. That was amazing. And uh, watch his clip. He has it on, I think, we both. Got it, I got it on Instagram. And, and I, he and filmed me doing a clip, too. So. Yeah, and you, I mean, fuck, man. You know, you're always killing it. Oh, I love you, dude. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but we will be right back within five minutes, whatever length of this song. Uh, see you in a second. Four minutes.
Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, Fuck, we did that perfect. We did. Unfortunately, uh, George had to take off. He's he's got some ob- other obligations. Other all, all obligations. The guy, he's a busy dude, so I'm very excited that we had him on here. He's yeah, I'm really guy. fucking excited. Yeah. I think I think it's super fun to have that dude. Uh, on, I'm glad that <laughs> I still had some leftover. That was fucking Solar Haze, bruh. Shout yeah, out, was, shout, shout out, shout out, Solar Haze. Oh, this is the wrong page that I gotta be on. <laughs> that one. Uh, but yeah, fuck yeah, we are back and uh, we are gonna continue the show outright. I really wish I had enough time to pee, but we were doing selfies. Oh, and- you didn't pee? No, fuck, I gotta pee so bad. Um, what I'm gonna do though is we're gonna do some. No, actually, not entertainment news. I want to talk about one thing before, and I told you this okay. before. We didn't get into it, uh, dude. That guy can talk, and that's fucking cool. I know, I know. He was I great. wish we he had much great. more time. Uh, he's a great guest. Uh, he he also yeah follow his. He's got a podcast going on too. So. For show, sure, for show, yeah. for show. Sure. Anything fun happened over the weekend for you? Because we didn't really get into any of that over the weekend. Uh, fuck the week, I, really? The week? Hey, it's it's literally a week since I've seen you. Yeah, I believe. I, nothing. M- oh, you know what? Well, mm. <laughs> I'm like, uh, well, I just I've been no pressure. I've, I've been, I know. It's just I'm like I don't know. I don't know how to say this without kind of. Not burning my, I don't know. It's just not burning my. I, I've been on the uh, dating scale lately, so the scale. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I've been dating, so I had dates. Yeah, you're this you're single. I you have, are a single I have, person. I have seen multiple women this weekend. That's what, that's being single. That's it's not a thing. Of, you're not. You're. I don't believe. I don't believe that you've told any of these women. I'm only exclusively seeing you. R- no, not any of them. But, <laughs> you're like, uh, yeah, you, no, 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 definitely no. not. But uh, I had a great time. Uh, that's what being single is, and you need like, like own it. That's yeah. what I, that's what I do. Like I I have literally been like I'm can't see you. I have. I just I had a uh, there was a, there was else, a there was a friend of mine that was uh, that came into town from uh, Washington and uh, we hung out this weekend. Do I know them? I think you do. Washington. Uh, oh, <laughs> I think I do. And uh, it was fun. Nice, good job. And I had a, I, and I had another date last night, which was actually like. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't tell me about that. To be honest. Uh well I wanted to but I mean I don't know we could talk about it <laughs> now if you want off air or uh, on air yeah, off air I don't, I don't I'm um ain't nothing on me but okay, yeah. let's do it fuck it salud um <clears throat> are we done did Ew. you finish your Woo. your beer I still got one more All right. uh, a little bit left in that one but uh Jesus yeah um. Well, that was kind of a the, the, like a, we had plans to hang out anyway, and yeah. you know she's got her own life in Seattle or whatever. And then that she, would make sense. I believe people exist outside of our. Well, you know, so we we had plans to hang out. <laughs> we we hung out. We had a good time, and uh, yeah, you did. There's <laughs> uh, we did, um, but there's also another girl that I've been seeing quite statically over these past couple of weeks. Nice. Yeah. Is and that we, who we I went, believe it is? Uh, So-and-so's friend? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And we went out last night, which was actually like one of the first like formal dates we've had. So Nice. Did you take a shower and you dressed nice? I did. (laughs) Fuck you. I even put on cologne. (laughs) What? (laughs) Oh, I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Cool. And uh, yeah, we had some some Italian food and went out for a couple of cheap drinks. And that was uh, was pretty much it. I came home last night. I had a good time. Was that actually it? That was it. Oh, okay. I know it's cute, isn't it? I did a date thing, <laughs> like I did a real date, uh, and I was like kind of nervous because, like, I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? Weird? Like, well, like it's she's no stranger to my naked body, right? Yes. But it's like I believe she has as many <laughs> male and female people have seen your naked body. Yes, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, but like that's different than actually trying to get to know somebody, right? So. Yes, I, I, I agree. That, but I, I, as long as you're so um, the thing open was, about what what it is, the yeah. thing is, it's just we we had a good time. Those th- and then it's like okay, maybe we, we kind of like each other. Maybe we should talk. That's nice. <laughs> so so that was that. Yeah. So we had a we had a dinner and a and had some drinks. And I I was thinking about like going to see a movie, but like I don't like going to see movies for dates because it's like no, me neither. I I think that was one of those like uh, stereotypical things that when we were teenagers, that was what we. Were, idea of a date was but right. no i don't like anything where i can't talk that's, to you that's like married people date night you know like yeah. dinner in a movie yeah right? dinner in a movie type of thing i'm like no that is not a good uh type of environment to actually get to know someone you you just 
you're uncomfortable. You're kind of just thinking about the other person the whole time. If you if you don't know them, I'm saying like a first date, you should not go to a din- never to movies. Never to a movie. No. Or like a or even yeah like a I mean any sort of thing where you're just sitting there not na- not able to talk to each no, other. No, the, the best dates in my opinion for people that don't know each other are things where you have to interact with each other. Exactly. So dinner's fine, of course. Food is fine. Drinks are fine. Uh, activities where you actually have to you know talk. Or yeah, That's or work thing. together on something like an exactly. escape room or something like that. I think would. I've never done one of those. I've have you? N- I haven't either. Although I have a friend that was wanted to do like a South Park one, and I thought that would, you, and I oh, thought that'd be fun. Yeah. So, I mean, just because, like, you know, I'm the kind of asshole that's like, why would I want to be locked in a fucking room with people? Like, <laughs> just, and it's like, I, it would have to be like a group of my friends. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, the last go, yo, I just totally yacked. Uh, <laughs> good? <laughs> All right. Good job, man. We got a, we got a yacker. We got a yacker. Someone can't hang. <laughs> good for you, bro. Good for you. Yeah, but um, I don't know. I just I feel like I have to be with a group of people that I like to be in a in an atmosphere to do, to be in a situation like that, like to, you know, escape room. Like, like I don't know if you've been in relationships like this where like, but you know how I am. Like, I'm very particular with people that I like to surround myself with. So if oh, it's it, a Harry Potter escape room in Monterey Park, we should check that out. What? That's, that's, what, that's what they're saying. That sounds awesome. We'll check it out. Thank you. Um, but Thank you, citizen. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, if you're with a significant other, significant other, and yeah. they have you know either relatives or you know other friends that are couples that like you don't really care for. Uh, it's okay. like, and it's like you, but you're, but because they're like coupled up, like you kind of have to do activities with these people. No, uh, I mean I have been in situations like that, but I just elect to not do that. I'm like, right. I, don't, I don't like so-and-so. But, I'm not going to do that. See, I always just suck it up and say, like, okay, well, I don't care for them, but, you know, if it's, if it's something well, you want to do, I guess. I, I, here's, here, there's a caveat to that. One-on-one stuff, I will say no. If it's a group thing with them, then with other, people, but with other people I know I will be fine with or whatever, then yeah. that's fine. So my point is the only time it's ever come up to go to, like, an escape room is with people that I would be like, you guys fucking fight about it. I'll just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I am not. I don't like double dates with people that I, I won't like. But if if it's I'm going to a place where there's a lot of people and someone that I may sure, not then that's fine. Then that's fine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But like, yeah, double. Oh, dude, fucking, I hate double dates, dude. I, I yeah, it's like you, you, you need to really like that. Those because then people. what happens? And then what happens when you actually go out with somebody? Because like, a double date is literally that you're dating those other fucking people. You are. You're becoming. Yeah, you're becoming all the way. Like it's so, like, you have to like. It's it. like How I Met Your Mother episode with uh with when when uh uh. Robin and uh, and Barney are together, uh-huh. and then the married couple Marshall and Lily. Yeah. Then they then they break up because they're like we don't we're not into this kind of stuff or whatever. And then <laughs> and, but then they like break their hearts. And it's like <laughs> and, and the whole episode is about like the couples having a breakup. Yes, you know? exactly. You're dating that other couple. Yeah. And I, I I've never been. I think that maybe it's because it's just my choices. I've never been in a situation like that, but I understand that's what it is. Yeah, where it's and like, it is kind of like if that. I if I say, hey, I don't really care for those people. Like that's fine. We don't have to do fucking. Hang and with most them. of the time, I get I always get along with the dudes, and like, and I just I don't like the girls or something like that. For me, yeah. it's usually the opposite. For me, it's the it's the different. It's I like, think that's the, the I find that always been weird about myself, and I understand that. I've talked to like a lot of my my friends about it, where it's like. I grew up with predominantly women, and so I feel like I just get along easier with them. I get- Dude, uh, okay, going back, when, okay. when we get to the story that I, I told you we were going to get to, <laughs> okay, okay. it yeah. has to do with the fact that I don't get along with guys very well. Okay. I don't. <laughs> okay. Not not a majority of guys. Okay, like, okay. D- definitely, like, obviously, you, Ricky, and, and, a, and a smattering well, of other dudes, because you're all uh, women. Cause, cause- <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's like, I'm, I am not a boys club guy. I never you're have not, been. You're not, you're I not probably into, never You're not into be. sports. You're not into like which is yeah, which, which doesn't merely mean anything. No, but, just, but the the your you, what you think in your head is a boys club. I'm most likely not into that. Understood. I'm talking to the, the general understood, audience. Understood, but like, but also there's other things you can connect on no matter what. I just oh, I for sure, feel I can. like I can always connect with another dude, like only because like. I don't. Uh, how do I say this without being a massage? <laughs> you have to. You have to really pick uh, your words right. I know. Um, I just. I meet a lot of women that I can read right through. 
That's fine. I meet a lot of women and men. Like I, I meet a lot of people. Yeah. See a lot of girls. I just see I, a lot of guys I see a lot too. Of guys. Well, I, I guess my point is I connect with men more because because <laughs> I'm gay. But uh, no, because uh, no, it's just because we know it's okay. Because because like dudes are m- mostly uh, honest most of the time. Like so, like as far as like who they are, what they're doing, at least like. At least, dude, but like, fuck, I mean, it goes both ways. I, I, I totally, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, because I'll, dude, I'll meet a guy. Fuck, I guess maybe that's just, that's, that doesn't, it's not a good argument. Cause like, I actually have met, I, it's been the opposite too. Yeah. To where dude, like, no. I get along with a girl and like the guy, their boy, I'm just like, how the fuck did this happen? Yeah. That guy's a piece of shit. And, he, yeah. and he's, and he's also lying about everything. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You know I mean? So I, that's why I was like, going to disagree slightly. I was like, I've no, I've, I, I've had experiences I, where both t- people lie. Like, as I'm talking about it, I'm yeah. like, no, it's gone both ways. It, it isn't that. But, For, it, but in it, my it, own experience, it just seems that when I hang around with a group of people, it tends to seem that the guys tend to not understand this, like not be as uh, like they're not paying attention. It seems like like they don't pick up on things. It's when, like I'm, when I'm around chicks, they'll look at me like with that side eye of like. This is what's going on, and the guy has no fucking idea what's going on. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. This is what happens with me with with dudes mostly. Like they're oblivious, right? Or, or like, if you try and have a conversation with them, they're like, uh, they don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. Yeah. And they're just waiting for their turn to talk. Yeah. Right. And so like they don't hear anything you're saying. Yeah. Exactly what you're saying. Like, and, and, and <laughs> I was like, that's many conversations I've had with you. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> But because you you don't talk, you but don't, I know you. I know no, you. I know. No, but, but that, that's, no, that's the, the thing is I'm hearing you. I am waiting for my turn to talk. But then you. But, but I'm also listening. But I am also listening because because yes, because yes, I'm like because I always remember what you were talking about. Yeah. It just I'm just like oh, but this one thing like it's just and it's like I want. I, and I to need, be fair, I've I've met many women in the same fucking thing. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it. Is. I really I don't. Just have I to get. I have to get it out before I forget. That's what it is. Yeah, and that makes sense. I understand that. I don't understand if there is an actual thing. I just see patterns, and patterns tend to be that I don't get along with dudes as well as I get along with women in the beginning. Well, Once also- I make a relationship with someone, okay. it's a different story. That's why like my relationship with guys, when I make them, are strong. Your mom sent me the link for the... Uh- Same. Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, if I may... <laughs> I think it might Proceed. be. If it, I think it might be because some of the people that you surround yourself with, if that makes any sense. Oh, for sure. Uh, like that's, but that's also why I am the way I am. To where it's like I like what I like because that's how I am. And if, yeah. and if I don't, and and that's how I'm going to meet people that are like minded around. You know what I mean? Like if we go to these places, I don't want. I'm not going to meet somebody that I dislike at a place that I like going to. Exactly. Yeah, and 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 so I guess maybe it is. I I, I like doing certain things, and I can't. I, it's not very often that I can be like, "Hey, dude, friend of mine, do you want to go uh, get some get some tea and then try this new uh, restaurant with right. me?" Right. Try. Watch. What, let's let's like let's I essentially go on dates with female friends right. that like I have no intention of fucking. Sure. Let's let's let's, let's try it out right now. Like 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 if you ask me to do something like on a regular Sunday to do some. Like, dude, uh, there's a new spot that I saw has a chrysanthemum tea, and then they have happy hour after that. Do you want to do that? What the fuck? Did you just call me? And happy hour is everywhere. Yeah, but I want to try this spot, though. Why? I don't know. It looked pretty. (laughs) It looked pretty? Yeah. That makes me want to go very much less. Okay. (laughs) Hey, Bridget. (laughs) Bridget. Point is, that's my point. Yeah, that's, and, that's but that's my thing. That's, that's what I want to do. Yeah. I know it's, it's both of our yeah. points. Yeah. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I don't care about. Hey, you want to go shoot things and go watch basketball? I like that. That's the shit I would do. Cool. But like, also, I'll like, go. I, look, I'm not a dude's dude either. But like, I just I enjoy that type of I shit. T- I want some tea now. But you want to <laughs> shoot shit? No, yeah. This is the thing. I, I don't know. I don't really know why. I don't really know why. There's the thing because I definitely do want to shoot things. By the way, I, love- I found a fucking stack of uh, free paintball tickets that what? don't expire. Also, I bought a new airsoft gun. We should shoot that. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Uh, this podcast is over. We're about to go shoot the cat. <laughs> We're not shooting my cat. Well, shoot the neighbor's cat. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay, but I'm just saying, it's weird because I am very much into the dude stuff. The yeah. thing is, I don't. It's maybe the I mean, way I, that it is. Like I like that. I like 
trying. I love. I'm a foodie. I fucking love going out. I love the arboretum. I like pretty things. Me too. I like that shit too. But at the end of the day, too, I'll, I'll do all the guy stuff. Okay. I just don't want sports. I'm, I don't I'm, want sports, and I don't like. Here's one thing that I found that I really hate. What's that? The competitiveness without a competitive environment. I, I'm the same way. And this, the, I don't like I, that either. Just for the the the, the audience, because I think you understand. I've been meeting like like out in the, in the social environment. I've been out with my friends, and then of course people are, are drawn to us because we usually roll pretty deep. It's my coworkers usually. Yeah. I, uh, I've, there's dudes dudes that come in and like they start talking to me, but like, hey, check this out. Look what I did. Look what I can do. Yeah. I'm like, I don't give one single fuck. But you know why they do it though? I just had this conversation with somebody recently. Yeah. The reason why they do it is because you and I are confident people, and we're we're comfortable in our skin. Yeah. So. The reason other dudes do shit like that is yeah. because they feel they feel intimidated by you. This dude, like the last dude, and I, uh, it's kind of breaking into the story. If I, I gotta get into it, do you want me to try to get into it now? <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. Because this is exactly why it happened. I know you have to pee. No, I'm talking about like how I got. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I, I know you have to pee. pee. Go okay, pee. Go. go pee. All right. Uh, uh, give me give me a topic. I'll I'll, I'll riff on it. <laughs> uh, no, like fuck. It's, we're having a good conversation too. I know just we go. are, but just okay, fine. You're gonna hold your pee. We're gonna be on a break real quick. <laughs> no, 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 just, no, no, no. I got it. It's fine. Uh, go right. ahead. I can, I can riff. We're good. Okay. Talk about. Have you, have you been watching uh, the Mandalorian? Oh, have you seen Crisis? I have not seen either of those. <laughs> Watchmen. I, I uh, Watchmen. We can talk about the Watchmen. Yeah, talk about the Watchmen. Okay. So if anybody's watching the Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> Go piss. <laughs> Go piss. You know what? Actually, I'll just talk about. Oh, shit. Fuck! You hit it? Did I? I must have. Do you hear anything in your headphones? I do hear it. It's still on. It has red and, and yellow, red and green. I think I may have unplugged the monitor. On accident, that might have been it. <laughs> Guys, we're having some technical difficulties here. Uh, your captain, your captain here. Did I just unplug? The, please tell me I just unplugged the monitor because I still hear music. Yeah. Right. Uh, isn't your tower on a on a backup thing though? No? So I may have hit it. What does that mean? What is it? It's, it's red and... It's on. No? I don't know. Don't. If it's... No, it, this is the power. I'm just making sure it's fully in. It it's on, right? It's on. I didn't hit it. I literally kicked it. And, that's what, and then everything went... Oh, there it is. We might be okay. We might be okay, guys. <laughs> Shit, we lost them all. Oh god, we're still good. Fuck. Yeah. Oh my god, I was so I was so scared that you were gonna get so mad at me. <laughs> Don't move your feet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay, we're back, guys. All right. Look, how about this? Let's do an AMA. <laughs> uh Garrett's got a piss. You guys throw me some questions. I'll talk about what I've been going through right now. Uh, so look, I, normally I would do this on, I had my own, uh, free form podcast where I would just kind of fucking do whatever I wanted to do and talk about, uh, different issues I've been going through. Uh, shit. Well, um, right now, uh, fuck, I, I just been doing stand up like fucking nonstop right now, which is great. I, I'm super excited. We got, we got to, we got to do, uh, next Tuesday. I'm going to be here early cause I got to do, uh, uh, Mount Low Brewing in Arcadia. So if you guys are around in the area, come out to Mount Low. We do that one uh, once a month. It's always the third Tuesday of every month, and uh, that's always a good time. <clears throat> uh, I'm fucking. I just did. The, I did flappers a few weeks ago, which was kind of cool because I never. Or was it, it was last week? Last Friday, last Friday with Bruce Jingles, uh, my, the, my our old time buddy. Um, my first time actually getting paid by that club, which. <laughs> If anybody who follows me and listens to to how how much I talk about comedy, it's like Flappers was one of those clubs that I always I always tried to avoid because they they didn't treat new comics right. 
or well. It was like if you were established, then you got the benefits. But it it didn't. So like if you're in the small room, there. I mean, you're you're lucky if you get a drink, you know, as compensation for that place. But uh, that night, I mean, they fucking they paid me. They gave me they they gave me my set. They, they sent me my tape. The first time I did flappers. The first time I did uh, the first time I did flappers, they had to uh, they charged me thirty dollars for them to send me my set that I had just performed. So that goes to show you, I guess, the progress I've made. I don't know. Maybe they respect me a little bit more to where they're like, "Oh, we get it. We that's what you do. We'll send you the tape." Yeah. It was just kind of a weird thing, but uh, and then and then you have to sell up to a certain amount of tickets in order to get any sort of compensation. Um, so I just. Uh, I'm I'm just happy where I'm at with my career source, so to say, because it was like for a, for a time I didn't I wasn't really sure what I was gonna be doing, and and I just been I, I just been uh, I just been hitting stand up, and it's it, and it's it, I'm like I've gotten paid most most money doing stand up over these past couple months than I have my entire career, which has been like five to six years, so. It's been uh, it's been going pretty well for me, which I, I think is something something to be said. Uh, I'm really excited for February. I'm going up to uh, Santa Rosa, which is right you know right up above the uh, the Bay Area, where they they have uh, all those breweries. I always come through. I always come back with all these different beers. So that's that's going to be exciting too, because because uh, R- Russian River Brewing Company they have their their triple that they only release for the specific time in February. And I'll be up there doing shows this time. That's like it's not even. I'm not even going up there just to get beer. I'm going up there to perform, get paid, and get beer. It's the fucking great. It's the life, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, Christmas time. Everyone's got got their fucking Christmas plans. I'm I'm fucking riffing here, dude. We're we're I doing see great. That. That's the fucking. <laughs> hey, let's talk about that. There we are. Let's talk about those things. I just want to make sure we got drinks. Good and stuff. We're all good. Hey, but those are all back. topical things, right? I'm not fucking word. <laughs> I did all right. I did move. all right by myself. Good job, everyone. Uh, go ahead and move the monitor back. All right. <sighs> so I got hit by a car. Okay, <laughs> wait. All right. Uh, so go go back to what we were talking about to tell me about that part. Oh yeah, dude. So you need okay. What was the what, uh, yeah yeah so, so we're talking about how <laughs> <laughs> how guys are really hard to communicate with sometimes or whatever okay go, go ahead yeah dude suck okay what uh, was, <laughs> got it no okay so this is the story and this this is the like I'm gonna set it up all I'll about how uh, my life got flipped turned upside, upside down, down. so like, I've been went, I've been okay. limping since Thursday night because well, I, got, I didn't uh, notice that. Well, it's because I haven't moved from this That's chair, really. True. That's very true. Go, uh, wait, so what the fuck happened? So uh, my my friends, my coworkers, who we've become very close, uh, we went out Thursday night. Uh, we planned this because there was a few of our coworkers who have left, since left, since, and uh, they wanted to hang out with us again, of course, because we're all uh, badasses. Just kidding. No. But of course, they're, they're friends still, and so they wanted to hang out. They scheduled. They were like, we're going to go out Thursday I'm night. I'm on a cocktail, man. I'm fucking. No? I haven't, I haven't eaten anything all day. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so we scheduled well, fuck a it, night. Just give it to me. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> God damn it. You don't have to. I can give you a, just a light beer. Yeah, yeah do you Stella? have beer? Stella. Give me a beer. I'll give you yeah. Stella. Um, like, beer will fill me up, and then I'll still be able yeah, to drink. exactly. And so we we decided to go out Thursday night, all of us. We hung out. We got drinks. We got food. Super cool. Towards the end of the night, um... Random dude showed up. Like I went to the bathroom, I came back, and a dude was sitting next to my coworker. Like just some dude. No some one knew dude. him. No one knew him. But and he, and he, okay. this particular coworker is notorious for. She's entirely social, so she's not. She's not. We're not at a club. This is a bar, rest slash restaurant that we just hung out at, lounge, if you will. All right. And she's notorious for just like. I feel like I know where it's going, but I'm not entirely sure. She's just like, yeah, just fucking come hang with us. We have a nice group of cool people, which uh-huh. is and it's just totally one guy, true. Just, and he was there by himself. Yup. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, a, I don't know if he was in a group or red not. Red flag. Yes. If some guy comes and hangs out with your group and doesn't invite the rest of his homies. 
Well, I don't think he had homies. I think so. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. if that's a that's but, that's but a this bad. Is, this sign. is all aftermath. Like I didn't think about it when I was there because I know this is a thing that she does. And so I literally went to the bathroom and came back and there's a brand new person there. And I didn't think about it because we're in a large group. There's at least like you know, eight to ten of us sitting in in like a lounge area, like similar to my two ca- my two couches and like the tables right there, some chairs, drinks, food, etc. Okay. And I didn't even acknowledge this person's existence because i didn't really he didn't care. talk he didn't i didn't care he didn't talk whatever then we were like oh See, let's th- let's move venues we went to a spot that we knew had karaoke we like to do karaoke uh-huh. same city like just a couple blocks away so we went over there and he was he came with us apparently i didn't take note of it until i saw him and i was like oh okay he's following us uh whatever <laughs> uh but he, he, I, okay i'm yeah. gonna go this, no, keep is, this 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 just dawned on me yeah that I realize the reason the reason you don't get along with with guys sometimes is, is also because you don't you don't you don't uh, introduce yourself like yes, but uh. thank you, sir. Yes, and uh, but yes, but yes, okay, but what, that's what I'm saying. Like, if a guy shows up. No one introduces themselves. Like, if they, if you look at me, I will say, hey, what's up, man? If you don't make eye contact with me, I don't give a fuck to be like, hey, what's up, man? I'm okay. Garrett. I'm going to go ahead and say this. But this, this look I, at me. Not, I, not, that's, what, that's, that's my thing. I get Here's it. my advice to you. I get if it. you're in a group, look at everyone there and just be like, hey, guys. I that's get it. that. But also, some people are very much not like us. So where? Fuck you. <laughs> So that's that's the thing where like if you if you make your presence known you say hey what's up my name's so and so yeah like I'm fucking like how's it going what's your name and then maybe they'll open up to you, you I haven't thought about friends. it I haven't thought about it but here's my thing with this is if you're coming into a group of people why is it our responsibility to every single one of us introduce ourselves to you without I, you looking at us I agree with you. Yeah, and that's my I thing. I agree with you. And I think that's I think that's that's common man. Like, yeah, like like for us it would be like, Hey, what's up, man? I'm new. Uh what's your name? Yeah, hey, what's up? Oh, I'm right. Whether it's a work I, environment, like, a social environment. Like if if you or I got invited to this table, I would walk up and be like, Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Like I would I would fucking say hi to everybody before I before I went and sat down. Exactly. Whenever I go in I I've I I've gone in and met new people and I'm like, Hey, what's up? You know, hey everyone, I'm Garrett. If there's if if there's a random person texting in the corner, I will look at them like, hey, like that's yeah, it. I get you. I, just it's not your it's not your responsibility. It's not my I, responsibility, so I choose to not do that. I, anyway. And I agree with you. You you're spot on. I don't. I do not. Yeah, but I'm just myself. saying, if you had done that, maybe maybe you wouldn't have made an enemy. There's a thousand things that if something <laughs> happened that w- didn't happen or well, something, what, I just I just I just. Pinpointed exactly the exact moment. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Good job. You're doing so well. Uh, I'm just saying. And also, you get a good read on the person when you do that. Yeah, but I also at the same time, there's there's a certain few people where it's like like this but specific. You, like 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 I said, she's she's known for just kind of having people like okay, she's, but it, she's a social butterfly. Good got, for her. I get that. There's a great chance that I'm never going to see this dude again, if if no matter what. So I don't care. But you don't think like I do. This is obviously, but <laughs> you don't True. think like I do. Where, where like my paranoid ass, I'm like, I need to know if this guy's a threat. You know what? I'm. That's very true. I do not do that. And so that's why I introduce oh, no. myself to every single. Yeah, you're doing something. Oh, it's in your headphones. Too? Yeah, it's in mine too. I think we're across. I think we're across. Oh, that's good. Cross the streams. Good it's good now. Yeah, we're leaving it. Okay. That was a weird sound. I never was heard weird. that. That was weird. I think it's because the, the wires crossed. Weird. Uh, get in with the story already. <laughs> How did you get? In? <laughs> Hold on. We're Hold getting on. to that. Uh, but my point yes. is, my point is that that's that's kind of part of the reason why, especially if there's a lot of women women around, I will introduce myself to every dude in around because I want to like I want to get a read on them. It might go to the stem where I, I just don't hang out with dudes, so I don't think that way. 
I'm like, if you're there, you're new. I don't give a fuck about you. It also unless could, we're hanging out. But it also could go. But to which is up, also I mean, also I get, I'm paranoid. Like I get, I'm fucking like I, so I'm an am I. But person, for some, so like, for some, and you know, you've known me for very long. Yeah. I am prepared for a lot of yeah, things. Well, what the fuck? Why wouldn't you but do that? <laughs> for whatever, you, you have this, swords on the wall. For fuck's sake, this is a what? very big hole in my fucking preparedness. <laughs> uh, you're actually correct in that. I'll be honest. You you are very correct. I have never thought of it that way. Well, then do it that way from now on. I feel like that makes me more paranoid. D- then do it. <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with being paranoid. There's, th- mm. th- unless, like, you're really paranoid. Like, like, you're looking I, out the windows. I'm and prepared shit. for the situation where it's like, if someone's like, I'm here and I'm a threat, then I'm like, I'm prepared. Right, but that's it. I want to know my threats before. And, yeah, I'm hearing it again, too. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a river. It sounds like. Uh, you know, it's gone. It sounds like the uh, uh, paranormal activity thing where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it just starts getting more intense. Right, right. Well, because we're going to talk about Ghostbusters in a little bit. That's yeah. Like, uh, okay, so I'm all about just, I'm like, let's let's figure out what these dudes, what their intentions are immediately. Like, because I can figure somebody out pretty quickly. What? I should just, be, I should have come back from the bathroom and noticed and be like, hey, who's this guy? <laughs> what fucking super bad. Yeah. Who, who's this guy? Yeah. Yeah, because then I mean, fuck. What? Like, not only not only are you like, are you making your presence known, but you're also you're you're also kind of like, I mean, it could go obviously it could go it can go one. It's like one of two ways, right? Like yeah. the guy will be like a little intimidated and then be like, oh, I'm sorry, like I'm so and so, or 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 they'll be like, who the fuck are you? You know, like, that's, yeah. and that's and then uh, uh, then you then you absolutely know. But like I don't know by by introducing yourself, put, making your presence known to everyone who's around you. Yeah. You kind of get a you get you I don't know you run the room a little bit more you know it makes sense it actually yeah it absolutely does uh, I think I'll do that from now on uh, for this specific instance I did not right and so uh, and people people I mean people can take that as like an insulting gesture by just for the simple fact even why didn't you ask who I was it's just that's that's just how some people are yeah but I don't want to know those people but I, I get that. to your I credit. get that, but you do, do want to know. know them. Yeah, I don't want to be friends with them, right. but, I but don't you want to know, know who I they are. Know them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it makes. Them, I think that's what it is. If I if I'm going to like you, you're the guy. You're the person that says, "Hey, what's up, guys?" Exactly. I, I'm with you, but but, if you, but I if also you're not, now I wanna, now I want to know the people know that don't are. do that. Yes, exactly. okay. See, that's the thing. I've never. This is the the first time it's it's backfired. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I, that's, okay. That's literally why I do that shit for this, every fucking person. This is the first time it's backfired on me, so I agree with you on all that. Because I want to shake your hand, and I want to look you in the eyes, and I want to know what kind of person. Who the you fuck are. is you? Yeah. Who him? What he did? And if and if I like you, then I'm like, oh, cool. You're you know what I mean? You're dope exactly. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Uh, didn't do that. So once we made ourselves to the karaoke, or we made our way to the karaoke spot. Okay. We we did our songs. We got a lot of drinks. And you because- have no idea who this person is at this point. You just noticed. But we're his in presence. a full bar. Like it, it's just a social environment. It's not like he's just infiltrated our group. He's just there. Obviously, and you and you guys roll deep like fucking ten, twelve. Yeah. People. So I'm assuming he's just like he wants to hit on my friend, which is very common, and I've seen sure. it happen multiple times, and nothing has come of it, which is fine. Okay. Uh, and so I just thought, okay, whatever. It's another dude. So we're there, and then at a certain point, we're just chilling, we're drinking, we're talking. He's sitting at our table, but next to me. So, like, about as far as you are. And still not have, you haven't had any fucking No interaction whatsoever. Because he's been cold to you. He's been cold. Yeah, well, I'm a better cold, man, bro. But at the, sa- at the same time, I'm talking to everyone else. Okay, I get it. it but, I'm, not, I'm not in but that. But there's a person sitting next to you. Yeah, no, but I'm talking to everyone else. Okay. If I wasn't talking to everyone, but that's, that's, a person, that's the whole thing. But there's, but there's a you going out with your friends and some random person there, you're not necessarily like, hey, what's up? Who are you? What's this thing? Necessarily, in my opinion. I am. Oh, good for you. Going back to this, I didn't. <laughs> okay. And so I'm there. And I'm I, talking I, I to you, literally all the... make enemies. Good. That's fine. Uh, I'm talking to all the people that I want to talk to. And then at a certain point, like, this guy leans over to me. Uh huh. He's like, "Hey, bet you I could sleep with her." Oh. And then he says, "Would you double team her with me?" I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what the? Fuck? Yes. And I'm like, like I in my head. Also, I'm an intoxicated, so I'm like, "What the fuck did you just say?" Oh, yeah. First, the first words out of your mouth. Yeah. I'm like, you. I don't know your name. For, <laughs> yeah. First of all. 
And, and then that's this fucking intro. And that's why I don't hang out with, with a lot of dudes. Well, I'm just like, that's just like, hey, I, I bet you I can sleep with her. And would you want a double teamer with me? That's his intro. <laughs> okay. And I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. First of all, I'm, fo- I'm gonna follow this stuff. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna chime in anymore. I just wanna, I just wanna hear the rest. Let of me, let me just do this. Okay. I'm like, what? I, I did that. I did that. What? He's like, yeah. Would you double teamer? I'm like, first of all, you're asking the wrong guy. Second of all, who are you? You said that. <laughs> yes. Okay. And and then and then he's like, he's like, no, 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 like like we were talking or whatever, and I just I I, I I'm just interested. I think you want to see this? I'm like, what do you mean what do I want to see in this? He's like, check it out. He gets up and he goes over to her and he whispers in her ear and starts talking to, to my friend. And I very, like, she's, she's over there, so I can't hear what they're saying. But she shakes her head. He grabs her hat and he's like, if you want, if you want to come get this, you can come get this. And he runs out the door. <laughs> Okay. It happened like it's fast. By the way, this is not like I'm I'm prolonging it. I'm telling you exactly what's happening. This happens in ten seconds or less. Okay. He grabs her hat, which is a really nice hat, nice hat. But he grabs it and runs out the door. And I'm like, what just happened? And she's like, he just stole my hat. And I'm like, okay, good, good whatever. Play. Good play, by the way. Yeah, right. Uh, so I jump out and I'm like, well, I. I guess I'll fucking go get this hat because yeah. he's right there. This yeah. is not like far. Uh-huh. I go out the door and I look and he's sprinting. He is going hard. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm starting <laughs> to run after him. He jumps in his ride, which is a white like Explorer. It's a giant car. It's a big car. What the fuck was he thinking? She was going to sprint back? I'm sorry. Go yeah, ahead. No, there's more. There's more. Okay, so yeah. so I get over. I get. I get. So his, his car is probably where my wall is. I'm right here. I'm like, hey. Fucking give the hat back, bro. What the fuck was that? He turns his car on and then peels out, hits me, and then runs over my foot. And then I'm like, okay, uh, I, I should have said this earlier. We were at a bar where they, they pat you down, so I took my knife off. So I didn't have this, which I always have on me, uh-huh. of course. Would, would have been awesome. Uh-huh. Uh, I had no knife. <laughs> I had no ring because I had lost it earlier that night. And... um. All I did was I grabbed, I, I literally went to my pocket. I realized, fuck, my knife's gone. So I went back, I grabbed my car keys, which is why my hand's like that. Oh my God, okay. So I grabbed my car keys. I'm sprinting after his car because he fucking peeling ass. And I hit his window like four times trying to break his window with my car keys. Then I'm like, it's not breaking. I hit his fucking door to like scrape his side or whatever. And he just fucking takes off. I'm like, there's no way, obviously, a human can outrun a car. And so, so he just goes. And you know those fuckers uh, in Pasadena with the yellow jackets, their security or whatever the fuck they are? Uh-huh. I look at them and he's like, he's fucking stealing my friend's shit. And they're like, okay. oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm sprinting after this guy and then he just fucking goes. And I just, I, I, there's no w- the possible way I can fucking get him. There's no cops around, no real cops. Yeah. And uh, at, at this point, I'm, I stopped. I stopped. I'm fucking... I'm just, <laughs> you know, so it, I've ran really far, yeah. like for three blocks. You want to know what? I'm still going. Okay. So then I fucking, I, I catch my breath. I turn around. I start walking. <laughs> I see the guys in the fucking stupid jackets. Like, hey, what happened? I'm like, stole my friend's shit. Where were you? They're like, oh, did you guys license plate? <laughs> I'm like, no. Oh, too bad. <laughs> they walked away. <laughs> they walked away. And I'm like, fuck. All right. So I start walking. And at this point, I, there's like a lot of adrenaline in me. And I don't feel anything like my foot. Like I, I, I'm like, nothing feels bad. But then I, I notice that there's blood dripping from my hand. Oh, from the keys. From this. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? And I look at him like, oh, I'm bleeding. Great. Mm-hmm. So then I get to the bar. And this is uh, past last call. They're closed. It's like 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. Everyone's been kicked out. I walk in. Like, hey, you can't come in. I'm like, I got to use the bathroom. And I walk in the bathroom. The security guard that's at the door is in the bathroom. And he's like, hey, you can't come in here. I'm like, I need to wash my fucking hand. And I show him the blood. And so I just I just start washing my hand. I'm just like, fuck all of you. Yeah. Just fuck, all, fuck everything right now. Yeah. I'm washing my hand with all the blood going down the drain. He's like, you can't come in here, man. 
I'm like, I'm, I, and I told him what happened. He's like, oh, fuck. They get me a bandage. And they band it. They fucking tape up my, my, my hand or whatever. Yeah. And then I go outside. And uh, t- like, like my friend is so drunk. She had no idea what happened past that point. And then I, I drove her home. And, and I'm just like, that, that was it. That was the thing. That would happen. And he took off. But the only With thing I, I did look at his license plate, it said Maryland. So he, she's like visiting. That's what he, she said. Once I talked to her the next day, once she sobered up, she's like, yeah, he was visiting from Maryland. <laughs> like, oh, great. So there's, there's Maryland. no chance I see him again. Zero. None. Um, okay, two things. Yeah. Well, one uh, that I remember right now was you probably would have done more damage with your fist and not the keys. Probably, but I didn't think about it. One adrenaline, two alcohol. Like you're just running, and, you and not, I was thinking, you not I was thinking, to use here's your keys. A, here's, no, here's a, here's my mindset. I'm grabbing for my knife, which I know has a fucking window breaker yeah. on it. If yeah. I just grabbed this and did and one, did that, yeah, it would have worked perfectly. Done. But your keys. But I grabbed my keys because they're right next to yeah. where my my knife but would the reason be, that, and I did that. But the reason that works is because of all the density to it. Like, yeah, but at the same, like, I know, <laughs> I'm aware. And I've seen you punch a window before. Yes, I know I can do it. I'm saying twenty uh, retrospect is twenty twenty. Yeah. But it didn't work. None of it worked. It was so bad. I got you. I'm mad for you. And now I've I've been limping because he ran over my foot. I'm uh, mad for I you. did. Well, how did I he did. hit you with the car? What, 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 what? So okay. So imagine his car is facing that direction, but parked. I run up to it. He wait, 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 which this direction? That direction. Okay. I'm running up to it in this like, like angle, this. whatever. Okay. And he peels out. He peels out. Hits me, I step back, but then his back tire runs over my foot. Oh, his back tire. Man, yeah, I could, yeah. that could have been fucking bad, oh, real I bad. I'm aware, I'm aware. His back tire hits my foot. With all the adrenaline and everything, I, I fucking... I, I get run over, yes, I get it. But then I start sprinting. Yeah. Like the goddamn, like, just every action movie you've ever seen. Ta- <laughs> like Tom Cruise. Like, the fucking, like, like Tom Cruise. Like, no, you're, you're sprinting. <laughs> I'm sorry. You fuck were, you! <laughs> you were the fuck. You were the fucking the guy from Terminator from T2. Bro. Basically, yes. Yeah. Uh, I I fucking I will say I I went up to 15 miles an hour. I I believe it. At least you can run. I can run. Yeah. When I want to, I can run. Mm-hmm. And so I ran up to him, grabbed my fucking keys because they're right next to where my knife would have been, and I just started slamming on his fucking window, and it, it's like scraping, but it's not piercing. Yeah. And then I just like hit the door and I see the scrape once he takes off because obviously cars can just accelerate. Yeah, I can't. But uh, I, I mean, for the situation, that's kind of the best you could have done. Yeah, but but then I woke I up. You. I woke up the next day and I'm just like, I can't fucking move my right my right my whole right side just was in pain. But also, what? Why would you chase somebody over a hat? I would have just been like, well. it's a thing of principle. So this is the thing: if he stole anything of yours. I would probably do the same thing. Yeah, and I would have said, fuck him. Who cares? Yeah, but you didn't in the thing. That's what I'm saying. But if it was something important to me, I, I would get that. It's it's a matter of like, you 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 stole something from my friend. If, if he, like, let's say you have, uh, like, shit, that's right. Oh, okay. What? No, I don't know. I'm, I'm, supposed gonna, I'm supposed to go on a hike with somebody tomorrow. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> let, let's, even anything, to be, in, in all honesty, anything. If someone grabbed your glasses off your face and then sprinted, I hear you. I, I would run after uh, that. Yeah, I, I get it. It has it, it has zero to do with anything except but, the fact that he, he dis he took something from my friend. He I didn't expect it to ex- escalate. It. I thought I would be like, "Hey, dude, what the fuck are you doing?" He's like, "I'm kidding," and he'd give it back to me. That's in my mind what would have happened. I'm, I, I was fucking around. I thought they would come after me, and I just want to talk to them. So you didn't even get to the point to where like we couldn't talk. I I went after him. He jumped in his car. <laughs> And then I was like, "Hey, give the fucking hat back!" And he wait, he, but you yell. You were yelling. You had a you had a moment to where he was in the car, starting the car, and you're yelling at him. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have hesitated. Well, I didn't expect to get run over. Well, I I well, me I wouldn't have expected. That I thought either. he would just be like, oh, "I'm just fucking around." Here's the hat. Did you try the door? I would have tried the door. I would have pulled his ass out. Okay, here's how here's how it goes. Literally, I'm like, "Hey, give the hat back." Car turns on, whatever, and. I'm, I get up to the, about to where the door is, and I'm just talking to him. I'm like, bro, why'd you steal her hat? Yeah. It's like, bro, leave me alone. He peels out. I go for wherever I think the handle would be, and it's already like, because if you peel out, you hit the fucking thing. You, yeah. It's not necessarily oh, yeah, like, I got, I got this. Don't worry about it. It's like, fuck. 
this is really far or really fast and like a big thing of metal. It's like, no shit, mom. Sorry. What did she say? You should have got the license plate number. You should take a picture. Oh, of it. I should be like, mm, excuse me. Can you hold on? Let me wait. Wait. Look, look. <laughs> Actually, no. Look, I'm going to show you exactly how long it would take me. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten. Ten seconds. Possibly. That's that might I, have even been a blurry picture. I think, I think that's why you need an iPhone, because you could just <laughs> Okay, maybe <laughs> hold on. Cause it's also drunk at the same time, pulling out my I, I fucking Ubered. I was like drunk, pull out my thing. Uh hold on, it's yeah. not even locked. <laughs> drunk, unlock. Camera, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Missed my camera. It's not even working. I have a camera button right there. Yeah. yeah. Why is it not working? I don't know. Samsung. That's why. Cause yeah. Samsung, everybody. 1, 000, 000. Samsung. That's why. Show me yours. Do that. Okay. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Still four that four seconds. Dude. Then you'd have to focus and, as and soon zoom. As, I'll check it out. Four seconds. How many seconds does it take a car from go if to I, zero to 60? If I pulled my phone up, like, because I have all these stupid notifications, though. Okay, zero to 60, how long does it take? Look at Boom. Boom. I'm in. Okay. Cool. For me, boom. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. Five, one thousand. No, 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 four no. seconds. If, if I was at the top of my game, no. obviously <laughs> not. Yeah. <sighs> yes. I Again, a, I, retrospect. I was in Monrovia and I caught. Twenty twenty. I, I caught a. I caught a hit and run. You caught a hit and one. Hit and run. I, I chased the guy down and I, I took a photo of his license plate. Okay. Oh, actually, sorry. This is what happened. I, I was I was this when I was driving for Lyft. Okay. And uh, you hearing that again? Yeah, I, th I think you're touching something with your some, foot. I kicked something on accident. It's sorry. something with your foot. Sorry, sorry. I won't touch that shit anymore. Um. And I'm in Monrovia. I just dropped somebody off. And I have, like, you know, I have my thing on. And then, like, I'm driving down one of these back streets. Oh, but this is more for my mom than anything. Nothing is broken. Uh, my foot's just been sore, but it's been getting better every day. I've, like, the first few days, I've been just limping around. Now I'm okay, but I can't run. Yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll, I'll It'll be, be fine. Right. Just, just so you know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, concern. <laughs> Um, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so this guy he like peels out like at a at, like at this four way stop, and I'm at the stop sign, uh -huh. and he fucking peels out and he smacks he smacks one car on one side of the street, and then hits another one on the other side of the street, and then mm -hmm. takes off. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck? And so, uh, I kind of stood there, and people were like coming out, and, and but I see him at the end. I can still see him at the end of the street at the signal. Yeah. So I just gun it and I get behind him, and then uh, I follow him on Huntington for like a few or Foothill for like a few blocks, and I just get on Siri and I tell Siri to make a note and I like read the license plate and I read it to her. Yeah. And then I turn around, I come back and the cops are there and I just was like I got his plate number. Nice. I was like, oh, actually, this is one thing. Have you like? So it's very hard. I've been witness to many accidents. And almost never gotten their plate number because for whatever reason it's not my it's not the top of my priority. Oh, I chased the fucker down. It was nice. it was like he fucked up like at least three cars before he took off. Uh, okay. And then I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Like I don't this... know why it's not in my in my head where it's like, oh, I need to get their plate number I right saw now. It, I saw it happen, and then I was like, oh, he's leaving. And then I just took you know I went and chased after him. You know. Mm -hmm. I got those numbers, and then I came back, and the cops were like, just like. Holy shit! What? <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." Uh, they're like, "No one we thought there was no." You witness. got his actual plate. They were number? like, "We thought there was no witnesses." And I was like, "Yeah." I just told Siri to make a note. While I was, I was like, "I followed him. I saw the whole thing." Nice. And then, uh, you know, so I just told him, "Hey, hit that car. He hit that car." And he I think it took pays off. it. Like, I don't know if I can do that. Let me see. How, what? What? What did you have to say to, to make a note? Let's just, just quick. This is a techno thing. I've never done it. Hey Siri, start a note. And then okay. Six three four seven one nine. Okay, I created a note. Nice. Six hundred thirty-four thousand seven hundred nineteen. Yeah. Hey, start a note. (laughs) 
<laughs> nope. Okay, Google. You need a new phone. I need a new phone. I think. <laughs> well, I, I, also, understanding your phone is a lot better because obviously it's. It, well, because also I could do I could do Hey Siri. Hey Google. Hey Siri, start a note. Create a note for me. Go ahead. Six three seven four eight nine. One two three four five six seven. It even caught yours. I got a note. Oh, that's a cal- you calculated it, but I also got the note. You numbers. bet. Oh. But no, also it has a okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a Google search. You need a new phone, dude. I I I. It's I an think, old phone. That's an old phone. Oh, absolutely. What is, what's yours? Mine's the iPhone eight. Mine's the Galaxy S seven. Old. They're on ten or eleven right now. Old. Well, you iPhone iPhone skipped. They went one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. They went eight to ten. Yeah. So they skipped nine. So now they're on eleven. I love torturing sorry comments. I love torturing Siri and making her say random and dumb shit. Give us give us examples, Sienna. Hey Siri. Tell me a joke. What do Alexander the Great? the Pooh and Chance the Rapper have in common. Same middle name. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, Siri, go ahead and take up Ryan's spot as far as stand-up goes. You got it. Good job. Uh, uh, seven and an iPad Air 2. Okay, that's cool. Tell us uh, some jokes. I want to see some jokes. You want to see some Siri jokes? Some yoke. <laughs> Do, Do it again. Do it again. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. You bitch. Hey so- Siri. Tell me a joke. I bought my friend an elephant for his room. He said thanks. I said, don't mention it. <laughs> elephant in the room. I bought my my friend an elephant. No, I, for I, I, I get, I get it. Hey Google. See, that's the thing. You, okay, you, you're Google. Serious. Was, okay, Google. okay, Google. So I have to unlock it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I think you have to do it in the Google. Okay, right. Google. Do a note. Hey Siri. What's the difference between you and Google? Okay. I found this on the web for what's the difference between you and Google. Check it out. No. Yeah. I don't know. I think it, it, it does boil down to what you understand about your phone. And I, I'll be honest, I've never had to do that. Well, I'll be honest, my battery is always on low power mode because uh, the iPhone battery fucking sucks ass uh, for this I've heard model. that. Yeah. And uh, apparently the new ones are very good. But this one was awesome until like a year ago. Yeah, I, th- I think maybe I, I would have needed to know that. But also, th- it, it does boil down to there's adrenaline rushing through your veins. You're not thinking, I should tell Siri to make a note or I should take a picture. It's it, it, this, Matt- this all happened in less than 15 seconds. And I would, I would if, if I had to guess the timeline, it, once I discovered something was a, a rye, something was a foot, it all happened in 15 seconds or less. It was literally <laughs> like... Hey man, give the hat back. Yeah, Peel I out I one one thousand, two one thousand. I get you. I, I don't like it's. Let's like, fucking like. Okay, so my brother, you're not thinking. Let me grab from my phone. Like, hey, take a picture of his fucking license plate. It doesn't. Do, I know. It doesn't work. I that know. Way. I got you. If you were a witness, you could about, do that. You don't think about that shit until after the fact. And or if you're a witness, you could possibly do. But it. also, you're you're an act now, ask questions later type person. Yes. I was very. I'll, I'll be honest about this. Uh, it takes a lot to get me to a point where I'm. I've lost my cool. Once I've lost my cool, I've decided to lose my cool. Yeah, Which means, so am I. If if we're if the, we're the very same on that one. If at some point I managed to get him out of his car, he wouldn't get back into his car. I know. I got you. And I know you and I are the same way in that yeah. sense. Uh, but that didn't happen. I know, but you wanted to so bad. Yeah, I know. Which is why I wish I could have broken his glass, and he would stop. 
and he would get out, and he would. I get, know. He wouldn't get back in. I know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Sorry. So Matt the Rat Rodarty. Hey, if you want, check out Rat Talk. You see me on this week's episode. I was the guest for the first time. I felt really cool. There you like, go. Be, like being interviewed feels, on a fucking podcast. It feels good being a guest in a podcast, doesn't it? As, uh, at the same time, you can also check out uh, From the Dungeon Podcast. The first week of January, I will be a guest. Famcast. Shout out Famcast. Shout out D. Rodden. Shout out all these motherfuckers. Famcast Media. Okay, so Matt the Rat just yes. sent me this. It's a tweet from his Twitter account. You can follow him at Rat Talk. My my girlfriend was giving me shit for watching old WWE footage. Wait, who is this? This is Matt. Though he's saying that. Yes, this is a oh. tweet from him. It says it, it, you can follow him on rat, at Rat Talk. Like I was saying, my girlfriend was giving me shit for watching old WD, WWE footage and by telling me wrestling was fake. So I choke slammed her. <laughs> I choke slammed her. RuPaul's Drag Race watching ass <laughs> through the coffee table for being a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Nice. I mean, he, he was. He's on the comments. He's like, read my tweet. It's, no, I see, I see that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. All right, uh, fuck, dude, we're we're so deep in, and we need to, we still need to talk about Ghostbusters. We have, dude, there's so much. So this is a fun thing. Like, okay, so there were some. This might be. There are to be some. A, there are this a might lot. Have to be a two parter. It might be. There are a lot of weeks where there's no trailers. There's no info. There's no whatever except for like some random shit. And there's this week where it's like I, I on my tabs I have a trailer for Ghostbusters. I have a trailer for Wonder Woman. I have a trailer for. Free guy with uh, Ryan Reynolds. I heard about this. I haven't. I didn't watch. And that Mulan. One. What the freaking shit? Did you not see that? I didn't see the Mulan one. Sorry, bro. Sorry, Sorry. but we had we had we were on time limit with with the Wang. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like that. Oh. <laughs> I, I mentioned this in the, in the beginning of the episode. I, I will own up to. It. He does not shut up. Yeah, I told but, him. I was like, you talk a lot. But that's what we want from a guest. No, absolutely. There's nothing that I I, I loved. Having George, I love having George. I talk to him all the time. I really like this. But then I was like showing him trailers. He's like, "Hey, so let's have a conversation through the trailer." I know he wanted to talk as soon as we got here. But yeah, I'm like, "This is not how the podcast is supposed I to work." I know, but you gotta fucking just you know just I don't go know. with the flow, bro. But either way, uh, Mulan trailer, Free Guy trailer with Brian Reynolds. Wonder okay, Woman, okay, we're gonna talk about. Well, let's let's save the other two for next week, and we're gonna we will talk. save them. We will do that. But I'm you want to get into. Hit your hit your fucking intro. I'm gonna pee. All right, we take a piss break right now because I also have to pee. So I'm gonna do Hawk of the Wind. Go. Oh my god. Keep front. Go. Go, I can't go believe on. you're gonna make them listen to that song again. It's a good song. <laughs> it's fucking dude. He's gonna make. He was gonna make you guys listen to the same song we already we already breaked to earlier to let George Wang leave so that he can fucking piss.
Jesus, man. Well, this is a real. This is a marathon of an episode. I'm really happy you guys. I'm, I'm happy you guys are still sticking with us here. But holy shit, you know what? What I was getting into was like, uh, uh, I love Christmas time, right? I love uh, being around my family. We we always do Christmas big, but I don't like the. The the, the the turnaround time between Halloween and Christmas. It drives me fucking crazy. I was dude, I fucking I I promised my niece and nephew that I was gonna I was gonna carve pumpkins with them. And so I go to the store, I buy the pumpkins, and they all pick out their own fucking pumpkins, and then I can't find a pumpkin carving kit. And it's the day before Halloween. The day before Halloween Halloween hasn't even fucking started yet. Why is it so hard to find a pumpkin carving kit the day before Halloween? I went to fucking three different places. This was so frustrating. And I I, I even snapped at the fucking guy at the grocery store <laughs> because this fucking dude, he tells me, oh, there's a whole table of uh, Halloween stuff in the back of the store. I'm like, okay, well, I need a pumpkin carving kit. He's like, yeah, go to the back of the, go to the, back of the store. There's, there's an entire uh, setup for, for uh, Halloween stuff. I walk down there. And it's all Christmas shit. It's all Christmas. Christmas shit. And I walk back up. I'm like, hey, dick face, why the fuck, why'd you send me back there when it's all Christmas stuff? And he's like, oh, well, it was like Halloween yesterday. Why don't you know your own store? Why Why would you send me to the back when you've already fucking... I don't know, man. I, I, I just... Halloween used to be one of my favorite holidays growing up. And it's like every year it gets less and less respect... And first of all, I think we should fucking move it to Friday night because how fucked up is it for all these young kids that don't get to actually enjoy Halloween anymore? And everyone's so fucking terrified of having everyone out on the out on the streets. Everyone's always doing like the the mall gives out candy and all and all that shit, but which is fine. It's safe, you know, trick or treating, but I don't know. I just I feel like we should have uh, uh, you know, a safe environment in our in our neighborhood, and, and why why the fuck can't and and then they have to go to school tomorrow, the next day, like being in, like you remember you remember how long we used to be out in like on Halloween. Yes, and I I heard you in the bathroom, and I actually have a solution. What's that? We change all major holidays to Friday, to Friday. That's what I think too. Bro, imagine it's like Halloween, Friday night, Christmas, Friday night, yeah. Thanksgiving can still land on a Thursday, but I, Friday night is well, also the, better. By it being Easter, on a, Friday, by, like the major it. holidays on Friday, just because they're like, oh, it's this specific date. And I always I thought this was interesting that Thanksgiving is one of the only major holidays that lands not on a date, but a week. It should be the third, thir- Halloween, third Halloween too. The third Thursday of every November. Same thing with Halloween. It's always October 31st, which is a different day of the week every fucking year. Well, but it's a date. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is... Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. So I'm saying it's like, and Christmas, December 25th. 20, yeah. I, I always think 24th because we do, we do Christmas. Say say it's the, fi- the third or fifth, third or fourth uh, fucking Friday. Make it a Friday. Make. Look, we're going to do this. You guys, start a petition right now, and we're going to make... All major holidays, I'm, a I'm Friday. In, I'm fucking into it. A Friday. Why it. is that not a thing? I'm into it. Because it sucks to be like, hey, you know what Mardi Gras is? Tuesday. And then uh, work the next day. Well. Hey, you know what sucks? Fucking uh, Halloween. Woo! On a Monday. Mardi, and then Tuesday. Mar- Mardi Gras legit- literally translates to Fat Tuesday. Woo! <laughs> so that's a bad you know example. What I mean? <laughs> Make big holidays a Friday. Make them. Just make them. I, I, and also, I want to understand. Like I haven't googled it, obviously, but mm. I want to understand why Thanksgiving specifically is Thursday. It is Thursday every week, every or every, every year. year. Yeah, every year it's Thursday. It's a good question. But not a date. Yeah. Third. So, yeah, third Thursday. Christmas, Easter, all the other shit. Easter, yeah. Well, Easter is always because it's because it's Sunday. Sunday. Whatever. Christmas, Halloween, other things. Yeah. (laughs) They're dates. Yeah, I got it. Make them not dates and make them days of the week that make more sense. Thank you. 
Well, the, uh, I think... Hashtag Comcast. What is it? The solstice, right? Isn't that what like Christmas is based on? Smoke weed every day. It's about smoking weed? No. No. Okay, Christmas uh, is a pagan holiday where it is about partying. It, well, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But uh, but it, it starts on the 24th. That's that. That's always been the... Uh, that that was like I feel like that's always been the date in the calendar year. Like, okay, that's kind of why we do it is oh. because it, it starts on that day and it's supposed to be like a week long event and that's why Hanukkah is 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 a week long thing. Keep going. I'm just I'm I'm just fucking chiming in here. Oh, okay. Hey, can you put on? Can you put Christmas on? Hold on. Origin. Oh, okay. We're gonna Google it. But no, I want to put a video. What? Yeah, I'm not, but just like it explains because it is a pagan holiday. I know that. I know, and it, so the whole Christmas tree thing was all about like them just getting fucked up around around a tree and celebrating the, the, the gift of life and all that. Yeah, stuff. exactly. Yeah. But I, I thought it'd be interesting to just have that. What in the background? <laughs> or are we we're gonna watch a video during Christmas mysteries? Isn't about how Santa manages to squeeze his belly down even the smallest of chimneys. It's true. It's not. Rather, it concerns the day itself. Yeah. Okay. How exactly did Christmas become Christmas? How did it? How do we know that Jesus was born on December the 25th? He wasn't. The answer is we don't. No one does. I, I believe it's actually been proven that it was closer to like birthday. September or, right. or the summer. According to right. historians, early Christmas observances actually took place in August. April and May. Okay. It wasn't until the 4th century that Pope yeah. Julius I proclaimed the 25th of December to be the date of the nativity. A popular theory is that the church wanted it to coincide with the festival of Sol Invictus, the Sol Invictus, the unconquered Solstice. sun. Today, some 2,000 years after Christ walked the earth, two billion people the world over simply call December 25th Christmas. Okay, why? A day to mark with prayer, it's, gifts, he has, and song. He has 20 seconds to figure it out. I know. See, this is terrible. Yeah, I know. But here's one. here's one thing I thought was hilarious. Uh, so one of my one of my Facebook friends, uh, and I, I was at this guy's bachelor party. He said, oh, no. <laughs> he said, said, "This is the season," and it was a wreath on half of the picture, and then the other half says, "This is the reason," and it was the thorny crown that Jesus wore. Okay. And so my comment, because it's me, <laughs> is it. is Michael Scott saying absolutely, but not really. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah. You understand what it actually oh, is, okay, right? Okay, yeah. We can get into this for hours. Let's we get can. into let's get into Ghostbusters, dude. We're gonna do that. All right, cool. I may have some news for you. Go ahead. Ghostbusters entertainment news. Ghostbusters. This just broke out. Uh, that is a scientific fact. Huh? I'm not gonna get to this story. <laughs> Uh, I have a question for you. New story that'll make you guys a little bit tingly in the fans. Okay, we need to move on from that. I need to get away from that. I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. <laughs> Ghostbusters, bitch! All right, so we just got our first trailer for the brand new Ghostbusters, which is going to be with Finn Wolfhart as well as Paul Rudd, and rumor has it, the original surviving living uh, Ghostbusters. That's what we're. That's what. We're, that's what we're hearing, right? Yeah. So there has been a lot of rumors around there, and then a lot of things where it's confirming essentially, but not official announcements. But you see, like people on set, of course, all the time. Bill Murray. Uh, Dan Aykroyd and uh, other people uh, from the original films so, uh, that are living, of course. But I think what they did There's with only one this that's trailer, not, so. exactly, what they did this trailer is actually very interesting because we noticed this, and I, I noticed that other people didn't. What was that? These kids, uh, they go in, they say our grandpa died, and so what, we got people didn't know that that was fucking what Egon Spangler. Is it Spangler? Egon Spangler. Yes, but yeah. Egon, yeah, okay. They're grandkids. Yeah, yeah. I His got grandkids. that. I, I got that immediately. 
People didn't. I thought it was weird. I was like, whose kids are they? Are going to be Bill Murray's? They're going to be fucking Dan Hook? Like, I'm like, bro, did you look at the And trailer? did you even see the fucking the uniform he pulls back? Yes. Or? Yeah. It says Spangler. Yeah. And so that's why I'm just like, wow. Uh, Ray but either way. Egon. What does he say in the what? fucking. In, uh, is, it, is it Ghostbusters 2? Uh, what? They, what they do. Uh, hello, hello, hello. But he's all Ray. Egon. Oh, and then he says something else. It's been a while. I haven't seen it. Uh, I, fucking I don't remember. Uh, but either way, and also they make the the younger sister look pretty Egon-ish. Yes, this brother. So there's Finn Wolfhart, who is the older brother. Yeah, but the younger, younger sister looks that's a very. Si- that's a girl. Yes. I thought that was a boy. Well, that's cute. Uh, it's it's kind of it's 2019. We don't know what it is. Uh, what they identify I, with. Are you sure? Because. He, she's wearing fucking overalls, climbing into the basement. Pretty sure that was, that was a boy. Over the glasses. You, would you like to bet? Ah, no, you you research this stuff more. No, it's not a research. It's very clearly a girl. Go in back. my opinion. P- pull up, pull up some stills. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I have it right here. From. Let's go ahead and Bustin, play that. Busted makes me feel good. That's my favorite. That's my favorite line of the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Boston makes me feel good. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, no, it's Finn Wolfhart from Stranger Things uh, fame, of course. But also, you have this kid that I don't know their name yet because it's, it's someone new. At least that I haven't seen. This one. Yeah, look. Yeah, hold on. We're holding. That's Paul Rudd. Okay. Definitely not who I'm talking about. Her. Right there. That's a girl. Yo. This is a girl. Dude, I thought that was a boy the whole time. Her voice sounds like a girl. Sounds like a, like a fucking non pubescent Shut boy. Shut up. Shut your face. Oh, go, go back. Kill a replica. A replica of what? That's a girl. A ghost trap? You're right now. Now I get it. Now I see it. Now I hear oh, it. Did you think this entire time that was another boy? Yes. Wait a I, this whole time. Okay. Even when when she, that he when a seat? that happened. Yeah, it's a girl, bro. Or uh, what? What I would assume is a girl maybe identifies as something else, but maybe girl. she's maybe she's fucking. Paul, but non-binary, bro. You don't know what she is. This is true. Uh, no, spirits, appears to be a biological. Spirits are born non-binary, girl. bro. Spirits are yes. non-binary. We uh, discussed this last time. Uh, spirits are bi- non-binary. They're they're gender fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. I mean. Uh, moving. So forward, what is Slimer? Whatever he feels like he wants exactly, to be. Exactly. Whatever dude. he identifies with. Exactly. A also, Belushi. Whatever he. Whatever they. Okay. So I have a lot to talk about on this. Not, Go. not a lot, but uh, so first of all, I loved it. <laughs> the trailer, <laughs> I loved the trailer. Oh my god, I got chills! Like, I was, yes, it's I, so good. And I was like, oh fuck, they fight! God damn it! And I was like, dude, I see. Oh my god, why didn't they do this first? Like, why did we have to have that other one? Because they thought that would be a thing that people liked. Which, I'll be honest, if I saw that without seeing Ghostbusters, I thought that'd be cool. That's cool. If Ghostbusters never existed? Yes. Maybe. No, I would, I, I, for me personally, if Ghostbusters never existed and I saw that, that was cool. I guess. But it did. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't. And what was the deal? What Was Jason Reitman on this one? Or uh, you uh, hold on. Let me I mean, pull it up. Well, he's on this one. That's what I'm talking. I, I meant the on the, the other one. The other one, yeah. Uh, I am DB Jason Reitman. Nope, that's a typo. I'm John Co- Jason Reitman. Bloop, bloop. Ivan Reitman. Sorry, Ivan. Jason Reitman's his son. Yes, but he definitely did right with this. So he did Ghostbusters Afterlife. He wrote Ghostbusters Afterlife. Doesn't look like he wrote the other one. 
Okay, so look up the other one. Okay, let me give me time. I'm not good. <laughs> right, no, bro, no. <laughs> I'm going to take this. <laughs> you stop drinking for a second. <laughs> what is this? Let me see. Oh, now it's just water. Never mind. Ugh, wait, there's a lot of tequila in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's water and Holy tequila. Holy shit. All right. Uh, Good Lord, dude. La, 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 Ghostbusters, yeah. Paul Feig is the director. Writer. Paul Feig. Yeah, uh, see. Paul Feig, wait. Three more credits. Let me click on that. He had to Ivan Reitman. Had to have no, been a producer. Wait. He was only a producer, Based executive on it. producer, because he yes. that's his creation. Yeah, exactly. He didn't actually write it. It was only Paul Feig and um Katie Dip Dipold. Katie Dippold, yeah. Dippold. Yeah. Yeah. So no, they had nothing to do with the other one. This yeah. one, yes. Uh Ivan Reitman's son. Son. Is yeah. the one that they found. Okay, so this is the real Ghostbusters. You know what it reminded me of too? Okay. And also, there's uh there's this new series on Netflix called The The Movies That Made Us. Okay. So have you ever seen the Toys That Made Us? I've heard of it. That's three seasons on Netflix. You should check it out. It's fucking awesome. And this latest season is it it goes into the wrestling action figures, the um, you know the WWF action figures. Don't you yawn on my podcast, bro? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the, the I'm sorry. Where's uh, hit the mics? <laughs> hey, this is just as much mine as it you as each yours. Yeah, and I'm. When was the last time you did hit the mics though? Hey, fuck you. Yeah, I don't have per- a computer. Proceed. Do you want to do this now? <laughs> I've been doing it. Proceed. <laughs> I um. What the fuck was I saying? Oh, anyway, so there's so there, there's the the toys that made us, and they did one on the Ninja Turtles, and they did one on the Power Rangers yeah. toys, and and TV series and all that. It's like mini documentaries on all the shit you liked at some point. I stole your drink. Thank you. No, you're you're you see you're snapping at me. I don't like it. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> um. Uh. Anyway, there's there's a ba- based on that series. There's another one called the Movies That Made Us. Mm-hmm. And the first two episodes are Home Alone, yeah, and Ghostbusters. Okay, and they're fucking great. They're like little mini documentaries, basically telling you how these movies got made, what they were based on, all these like little you know factoids that you wouldn't have known if, you, even though you're a fan of the movie, like it's kind of cool to get like you know inside baseball type shit with these, yeah, with these movies. So, uh, I forgot what the point I was trying to make was. <laughs> Where's that level? But uh, it was awesome. It, it was. It's really cool. So if you have, if you haven't watched this, it's you can check it out. Uh, D- Dan Aykroyd's in it. He talks about first of all. D- I knew he was like into aliens and stuff and like and Bigfoot and all this shit. But like apparently he comes from a, he comes from a line of paranormal investigators. Like his ancestors in Canada were like were like fucking were real Ghostbusters. <laughs> And uh, and Bigfoot hunters, mm, less so. That I would under like 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 I understand paranormal investigators for ghosts and spirits and whatnot. Yeah, that's so. That's what he. That's what his Bigfoot family. Bigfoot though. Then Bigfoot and 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 aliens. Yeah. Nah. So his his like great grandfather was like one of the first authors for to write like a book on this this phenomena. You know. Man. Nah. And uh, so that's why Dan Aykroyd, like he's he's so fucking invested in this shit. He's written books about aliens and alien abductions and whatnot. Yeah. And so he said when he wrote Ghostbusters, it was kind of an homage to his ancestors, mm-hmm. and uh, and that was like his whole thing. And so it was kind of cool that and and so Slimer's based on uh, uh, John Belushi because he oh really because he was supposed to be he wrote Ghostbusters for yeah. him. John Belushi and Eddie Murphy. Those were supposed to be the original ghost. But that's what he wrote. That's what he wrote the script for. Wow. And uh, Eddie Murphy turned it down. Wow. And then John Belushi died. Oh. And so. Uh, when so, did he die? Do you remember? Uh, right after Blues Brothers. Okay. So. Yeah. So, so like could, I, obviously couldn't do it. So after Blues Brothers, he want yeah. So it was like he that was when he was writing this. He wrote the script, and then uh, and then uh, Ivan Reitman 
got involved somehow and was like, I want to rewrite it. And he met with Dan Aykroyd and was like, okay, well, what you're talking about is like some sort of, you know, futuristic blah, blah, blah. He's like, what if we just put it in New York? And it was just some guys trying to start a business. Yeah. And he was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, and then he's like, what if we got Harold Ramis on this? And then he was like, yeah. You know, like, so then they got Harold Ramis. He rewrote it. Then he rewrote, yeah. So then Harold Ramis re- like put all his notes on there, nice. and that's what it became, what it was. But then as it's going on, he's like, okay, Harold Ramis said, I love the idea, but I want a part in it. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, <laughs> so, sure, yeah. And and then uh, and Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray were on Saturday Night Live together, so he tells, so uh, he he tells the studio, yeah, uh, uh, Billy's in. And they're like, okay, well, he needs to fill out his paperwork or whatever. You know, like, he's like, no, he'll be here. <laughs> and so, like, throughout the entire pre production, they have no contact with Bill Murray. <laughs> 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 and they're like, we're shooting Sunday. Is he going to be here? They're like, yeah, we think, we think so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they said they, they said he was in, like, in Fiji, like, the night before. And then uh, come 9 a.m. He was there to film. Nice. <laughs> and then no one had any idea, any clue if he was actually going to be like, but it, that's, that's kind of, and that's exactly what like Dan Ecker was saying. He's like in true fashion. Like he's like, he said he would do it. He showed up nine. He showed up two hours early for his call time and he was there to work. Boom. Yeah. Nice. And which I thought was fucking amazing, but yeah, that's pretty much. And then uh, you know the whole thing with uh, Billy D. Williams too, like his his uh, uh, his part got cut a lot, which is kind of shitty. Oh really? Yeah, that's what they were saying because Murray, because Bill Murray was killing it so much that he became kind of the throughout the sh- the shooting, like he became kind of the main character, kind of the main character. But it actually was actually supposed to be Billy D. Williams. Wow. Yeah. Well. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I want to wrap this up mostly yeah, so do I. due okay, to the but, fact okay. that I'm drunk. Hold on, let me. Let's talk about the new. This new. This <laughs> we'll wrap it right now. But let's talk. We about have a lot of stuff like the Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman We're trailer drop. We, we won't like, talk about is, Wonder Woman. Right now. I, I want to send, say this is so weird. It's like certain weeks. It's like oh, there's not really much stuff. Now there's like literally there was like six trailers. There's let's so talk. Many, let's, I had to pick let, some. Let's just finish with with the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Okay. So this trailer, you know what it reminded me of? Do you remember the old cartoon series? Yeah. That's what it gave me the vibe of. His granddaughter looks more like the cartoon than it does him in the live action. Yes. Because they gave her the hair. Yes. And the glasses. Yes. And I was like, "That's exactly his fucking gra- and I know, cartoon granddaughter." I know. Let's let's be real. There's gonna be a bunch of people on Twitter fucking complaining. Well, you yeah, fuck what? Did you just give all these fucking things to kids? You know what I mean? Like, but I love I love the idea of passing the baton, having the and the, the and the, the whole kid thing. Like, if you do it right, like or fucking with Stranger Things, the Goonies, you know, fucking yeah. Peter Pan. This book, trailer. Like, Tr- fucking hooked me more than a lot of other totally. trailers have. This is totally. so good. It, uh, I think th- this teaser or first trailer really uh, focused more on dramatic shit. Not necessarily dramatic, but more like serious because they were like, we're here to play fucking games right yeah. now. This is Ghostbusters. But Ghostbusters in a sense that you want to see it. Yeah. If 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 this if you hadn't seen Ghostbusters, the first one, which a lot, let's be honest, a lot of people have not seen. Our age and older, older, I sure. I don't want to be honest. We're not going to be honest. Don't worry. Other people, yes. If you have never seen Ghostbusters and you saw this trailer, I would still be in. It is one of those things. It's just, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But it all, it just, fuck, man. Like, this nostalgia, like, this nostalgic, like, factor that we have with a lot of these new movies coming out. Like, But this, I think they market it perfectly because they do, nostalgia... But- Tends to just base off nostalgia, but this is like you know if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, you'll be in. But, but also check out the actual story arc that is makes this movie good. But that's what I'm saying. But don't you think that like as 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 adults now, like when we love these movies as as, as kids, you know, it's like now it's people. I mean, we're we're thirty, so like people would have. A lot of a lot of people our age have kids and families and whatnot. Yeah. Between, I mean, let's just let's be real. I mean, between thirty and forty, that's where we kind of kind of came from, right? Yeah. Like we we loved the eighties movies, eighties early nineties shit. Like that that was our shit. So like, 
anybody who came from that kind of era, like they all they all love to share that with their, especially with their kids, you know. So like, it's like okay, what if we, like, let's say you had some kids, and then they they walk, they see that trailer, like like dad, I want to see that new Ghostbusters movie, and you're like, oh bitch, have you seen the fucking originals? And then, first of know, all, I love the fact that you're like, dad, I want to see the new Ghostbusters. Oh bitch. Have you seen the fucking first one? That's how I talk to uh, Mike. That's how I talk to my kids. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you are. I'm just kidding. No, I won't. I I, I, I kind of want to make a video. I want to see how you talk to fucking oh, your nieces. Bitch, have you seen? Oh no, I don't talk to them like. No, I talk to them like I'm a fucking. Well, also, baby. I I doubt they're all like, uh, fucking Ryan or what do they call you? Uncle, you know? Uncle Ry Ry. Uncle Ry Ry. No. Uncle Ry Ry. What is it, Ghostbusters? Oh, bitch. <laughs> no, but I might have the same tone. But right, like, right, I want to see Ghostbusters. You know, you know what I do? I go, ooh, girl, have you seen that new one? Though? Have you seen that other one? Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's how you. That's how you respond to your nieces. <laughs> right, right, I want to see Ghostbusters. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you not watching, we had an actual spit take right now. <laughs> That's how Ryan talks to his <laughs> nieces. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to see the new Ghostbusters, Ryan. Do that, Ryan. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like that. It's like that. It's oh, like God. That. Yeah, it's like that. Oh my god, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, you fucking asshole. Okay, like exactly like that. Like, don't you fucking there you go. Like, like Jurassic World. All the kids that want to see Jurassic World. Like, don't you think? You know, you as I would, you, I would tell you, my nieces, "Do you want to see Jurassic World?" They're like, yeah, I want to see Jurassic World for Chris like, Pratt. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? Watch Jurassic Park first. <laughs> Yell at him. Yes. <laughs> You don't know what the fuck this means. Don't. All right. uh, but either way, yeah. Uh, I want to close it out on that. We've been doing this for a good amount of time. Uh, we are. It's almost three hours. Intoxicated. I need food. I've, I've only eaten once today. I have uh, not eaten today. Uh, yeah, yeah, you need food too. Yep. Uh, I want to thank our guest, Mr. George Wang. Sorry. You? What? Go ahead. Just hit a random button. What did I do? Just hit one. I like beer. I like beer. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, <laughs> thank you, George Wank, for coming on the podcast. And, uh, of course, check him out. And then check us all out at Humcast everywhere on, on social media. I like beer. I like beer. You have it on there twice? No, it's in the one button. You have been in the same Shut button. Shut the fuck up and let me do my job. It fucking exactly. Bitch, what the fuck? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can follow me personally at Garrett underscore AM Lee at all things and Ryan D at go fuck yourself dot com <laughs> team Ryan D dot com uh, at Ryan P Demarest follow me on Instagram and Twitters uh, I got a lot of shows coming up so get on it nice and then you can uh, go ahead and check out Rat Talk which I was Damon. not Matt Damon but a guest on this past week check it out Rat Talk and uh, the first the first week of January, you can catch me on From the Dungeon Podcast with our homie over here, D. Rotten. Shout out D. Rotten right now. Wait. No. Nope. Ah. Which one? No, that one. We will see you next time. Or we... What? I will see you then or I will see you another time. Whatever. Famcast Media.